right now as we as we like load into this and that was probably terrible ho oh, i need to set that up properly so that when i switch scenes it does not spam all of those i hope you enjoyed that delightful treat and and a sneak peek at some of the other sounds i've added for today <laughs> I was just looking at my audio mixer and everything just lit up. That is definitely terrifying. But uh but but to ease ease the soul, I'll I'll play this one since it was probably the most terrifying. What are you doing in my swamp? What 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 I I hope that helps ease the uh the pain that I have caused. But anyway, we're back at it at some wasteland. We're going to go to the carnival today. I'm so excited. The sounds are much louder. Okay, I need to turn them down. I can do that. Uh, I'm going I'm to hit them at like minus 30, and we'll see how that turns out. How, uh, actually, let's, let's just set them at the same volume as the game, and we'll see how that goes. All right. Boom, boom, boom. Okay. There. All right. Is this better? What are you doing in my swamp? How is that? Yay, Ornay. It certainly looks better on my monitor. All right. Okay, cool. Perfect. I'm glad I could ease the soul a little bit. Okay, over here. I'm going to tra trace this down, though, and see what the deal with this electricity is right now. This is Rosie Wong at the Sam's Luck Department. It brought it over to here somewhere. I want to turn this man's uh, microwave really on. Can I, uh... But I Since don't you know. know whose department it is. I'm trying to run a business here. Oh, Rosie, get over it. Clean water. I don't think your tenants have a right to anything. You have to get someone here and stop this thumping. Nope, okay. Well, hmm. not so much a thumping as a... Maybe it's in here. Kind of like a... Cause I don't see anything over. Maybe I should just like trace it down quicker. Let's see. Let's try this out real quick. Hit it, and then we're just gonna follow it with this. Oh, is this more snowballs? Zap, 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 zap. Okay, so it does go in here. Perfect. Are these more snowballs? Go interact with these. Yeah, those are more snowballs. Well, we're gonna pee on them. Make some more yellow snow. We have plenty of snowballs right now, though. We don't need to gather more. We probably could have left a stockpile of non-urinated snowballs, but who cares for that? I don't think the power here is working still. Yeah. All right. Um. These have some sort of indication of power. But... Display is inactive. Hmm, dee hmm. There's nothing in there. I don't think the generator does anything. That's just for this one door. Powered down. I hear another one. Right? Or was that just that one shutting down still? It might have just been that one shutting down. That's so weird. Oh, I wonder if we can do anything in the club now. Yeah, we can. All right. Turn that back on. Not that I know if it does anything, but hopefully the club will turn on the power, maybe. Maybe the club's sucking up all the power. Uh, let's get all of these guys. Come on. Come on, friends. To the club. Let's go party. I love that in this post-apocalyptic wasteland, they still got someone running the club. It really says a lot about humanity and our priorities. The club is always popping. Yeah. Oh, it's called Little Vegas. That's cute. We have our own Little Vegas in Colorado now. No refunds are given for injuries sustained during a session with the Joker. What the hell does that even mean? We're going to buy a session with the Joker just to see what happens. If there was... Oh, 
there's gotta there's gotta be a stripper on Vegas that has a whole Joker stick, right? Like, without a doubt. And you know, there's gotta be like awful people who are into those like weird toxic ideas that are eating it up. What's up, Iltaro? How you doing tonight? We're gonna go have a session with the Joker. I have no clue what that means, but I think it's gonna be a real Hope horny run today. Jackpot. Hope we hit the jackpot. What's your favorite song? Uh, sex dwarf. It sex so dwarf. Oh. Yeah, Is sex dwarf great. a real song? Welcome to Little Vegas, friends. Care to play some blackjack? Ten dollars. He gets you a seat at the table and wins pay even money. He is. He's playing Pikmin, which I, you know, dealer's choice, whichever you prefer. We we probably spread a hundred dollars over thirty rounds of blackjack while counting cards to ensure you come out ahead. What? Okay. Uh, pay careful attention. The odds are in your favor. Lo and behold, you nice make a profit. There, Hell yeah. Play again. Uh, no boo no bourgeoisie streaming tonight. Uh, we were talking about doing something tomorrow. But we're on the fence. Yeah, let's do it again. Because the... You're on uh, the street, the, uh, Maybe we should quit maybe while we're we ahead. Quit while you're ahead. The new... Oh my gosh, we can do it again. How hard do we go? They? Pronounce they again? Like the word they? Do I pronounce they funny? <laughs> I I get that. Apparently, there's a lot of little words that I pronounce funny. Like, tin and tin, I say the w same way, and it drives people nuts. Uh, but All the right, new... Buckos, it ain't illegal to count cards, <laughs> but it also ain't illegal for Mr. Brigo to ban you from playing here. Oh, no. You're done at this casino. We're Forget banned it. already. Vamos. Oh, bourgeoisie? Or bougie... Borgias. Is that what you're thinking? referring to? No can do, Pally. Oh no, we've been Brian banned from the casino. <laughs> no more gambling for me. I learned my lesson. Uh, but yes, the new Humble Bundle comes out tomorrow, so we might start playing games from there. Borgias. Bo how do you pronounce it? Borgias? Bougias? Bourgeois? It's it's such a weird word. Uh, you shouldn't do drugs. You shouldn't do drugs, buddy. <laughs> Fuck me. Is that what he's going to say? No. Nope. Fuck. Fuck. Like oh. Total. <sighs> What's the problem, buddy? I went buddy? upstairs to get my sh shit out of the safe, but b b Boulder and his mercs took my Berjus? Is that it there? Did I say that right? That's wild. Yeah, in in English we pronounce no everything whack. Way I'm dealing with that asshole again. But I need that stash or I'm dead. Mm. Can you help me? Why are you dead without your stash? I have a lot of money. I don't sell this shit and they'll kill me. Aw, shakes. Where is this shit of yours exactly? In a safe? Up, 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 upstairs? How did you have the combo the to the shit room? safe? Here's the combination. He hands you a nearly illegible note. Uh, Warsaw is absolutely great. I... Really loved Enjoy David's the, the one who David's the one who actually the played it. Behind the bar. So easy, I didn't get the chance to. Mr. Brigo says you take it easy. But everything he said about it really intrigued me. It's got a lot of like historical information and, and talk. Which I think is super cool. I've I've fallen in love with these sort of like historical games. You know that I know the DJ from Charles knows. You mean the what do you got to say, buddy? It reminded me, um, I got to play Through the Darkest of Times this month, and that's another one of these, like, World War II era historical games. Uh, Warsaw was really cool because you played through a, um, oh gosh, what was it? The Siege of Warsaw or something like that? Uh, uh like a place in Poland that was constantly, that was taken over. Ah. It's you, Ray. Yeah, absolutely check it out. I was wondering when you'd come to see Charlie Knows. Ferran Brago's capo, leader of men. Hero I that's what I'm kind of jealous boots, that I didn't get to play, Elmo, honestly. And friend to everyone worth knowing. Welcome to Little Vegas. But what's St. Elmo? Not surprised you haven't heard of it. 
Saint Elmo was lost to a fire years ago, sadly. But it was a thriving town before then. All right. Thanks to old Charlie. Yep. Don't listen to a word old Charlie says, Rangers. Oh, Marshall Kwan. He's the biggest bullshitter in Colorado Springs. Oh, oh, no, he's not. I will gladly take that title, my guy. <laughs> says the biggest bullshitter in Colorado Springs. John from Garfield? <laughs> <laughs> uh nice to meet you you've got a lot of tiles don't all you all those and more i have plenty to tell you red hats all you need is working ears oh we got ears heart. buddy charlie don't know about the heart though and old no charlie so what can charlie, charlie knows uh depends what's your job I'm around here charlie boss. I make sure our guests are happy and entertained. You eat and John? Don't into you the eat room. John from Garfield? <laughs> I like to imagine that there's a world where you buy Garfield strips and tear out just the pictures of John and eat them and see how it changes the comic of Garfield. Which, now that I've mentioned this out loud, I might write this down and do this as a bit. I, I'm writing it down right now. Done. Done. Stay tuned. Stay tuned. <laughs> I Eat John is coming soon. I can. Did you mean, will you let us through? Oh, case, fuck your can and will bullshit. No. Jokes aside, Mr. Brigo doesn't That's let not anyone a joke. in the back without his explicit It's not stuff. funny. And we take Mr. Brigo's instructions very seriously. If you want to go back there, talk to him. Not me. All right, maybe I will. God, I ah, hate Mr. alarm Brigo's clocks too. Pride and joy. I have, Our I mean, thankfully with this joy. like being unemployed and COVID and stuff, I place. have just given up on alarm Apparently, clocks altogether. It emulates the style of Sin City, but I never saw that place myself. Okay, you the city of the Sin. In charge, you'll find Mr. Brigo upstairs. All right, why'd you call us Why red hats? I? Isn't that who you are with your hats so red? Oh, well, what? Can't help you if you're confused. Why are we? Oh, is it because we're cops? Basically, he's calling us red hats because we're see cops. This silver ram metal. You like it? It's my favorite badge. The okay. patriarch himself gave it to me. Yes, sir. Interesting. For safe. See this one with the skull. Sheriff I don't think Daisy any of these are true stories. Dealing with a corrupt marshal. She was a beast. Let me tell you. Must have had some kind of mutation. Eight, Eight foot, foot tall, tall for real, my guy. Like bricks. But I gave her the old razzle dazzle. Took her razzle dazzle. <laughs> Is that what you call falling while running away from her and tripping her with your quivering ass? Okay, so the Didn't the it? person was really it's alive and existed. Okay. I figured the story Until altogether was time, BS. Red hats. Uh, oh, Marshall's in my group. Gotcha. That's interesting. These Computer. stairs lead to Mr. Brago's lounge. He said I should let you guys through. Yeah, but yeah. Don't even think about messing with that computer behind me. I got one job. <laughs> and guarding guard that, that computer. computer. And if you was to mess with it, well, that would be a very bad day What's for so you. special about that computer that the there? the computer that controls the ventilation system. And I have to guard it because it's broken. And there could be real trouble if anybody said it wrong. Okay. This feels like a really odd job. Guard our you computer for our broken ventilation system. Which isn't supposed to be possible. But right now it is. <laughs> I feel so that. Do not set an alarm and just let yourself down. nap. So feel I'm it. Like, just embrace break. embrace the nothingness for a while. Well, you have a good nap, maybe. though. Okay. Maybe if a fight broke out. Uh, All right. I'm going to say I said any of this, are you? Prostitutes all over. Disco bot. Oh, man, I love dancing. Yo, this makes me want to get a Roomba and attach a disco ball to it. Present request, party humans. Should I buy a Roomba and attach a disco ball to it? I've never been past. God, that would be a treat. Uh, when is going to be? Must. Uh, you want to pay for it? 
Well, I, I'm, I'm not sure what you mean by going to be the draw. I'm looking for someone to May I get clarification, and then I will let you know when it will be released. Hey there. What do you need? Uh, got any juicy gossip to share? Loose lips don't get you far in Mr. Brigo's organization. All right, so... I've had a vote. No. Oh, um, actually, I have them. I, I, I can't believe I did not drop them on the Discord. This I will, I will sh drop those in there right now, real quick. Actually, let's pull them up here. Dun, 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 dun. David actually has his in the background of his stream now. If you didn't catch it, uh, bundle bourgeoisie. This is this is thrilling stream content. I hope you enjoy. As I dig through to find this. Where'd I put it? In here? Yes. This one? Haha, I've found them. Oh no. The files are too powerful, it claims. Uh, what about this one? Yeah, this one might not be too powerful. Haha. And this one might not be too powerful. I've found the less powerful files. They are in. Boom. It was. Yes. Uh, it was a Fiverr All commission. All the best vices Colorado has to offer. I, I figured we are, we're, we're working on getting some videos up, and I wanted some cute images of us to use for the hey videos. There. What do you need? All right. Don't be strangers. Private parts. That's such a good name. I'm looking for someone <laughs> to deploy. Down south. That's so good. They're not going to let me use this door. Nope. Howdy, howdy, howdy! How's it going tonight? How is life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness, Aaron? What have I need a drink dun, 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 dun. you're throwing around? Oh, honey, oh. of course! What do you Buy want? him a drink. Rum and cola? <laughs> Rum and chaos. How I blew that Dorsey's brains out. <laughs> so 2090s. Still got some on my shoes. That's fair. I I get that. It's it's a struggle. Life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness is just like. What are you doing in here? Oh gosh. This is a older. private party. I'm sorry. Who are you? None of your fucking business. You grumpy, grumpy boy. Happened to be in town when the Dorsey's attacked, oh. so we paid him to help us out. Nice to see him putting the Patriarch's money to good use. Were you guys streaming tonight at all? Defending Colorado Springs and beating those toothless shit kicker Dorsey's it's to a It's going great. Local I... 168. <laughs> Thank you so much. You. I, I love yeah. them too. I'm so excited to put them into some stuff. Um, we... It's a very detailed <laughs> RPG and... You run to run an errands for it, I am really loving it. We're gonna uh, sell oh gosh. That. No, no. You ain't getting off that easy. Did I accidentally just start a fight when I wasn't really paying attention? On, or talking oh, okay. Up what we do like um, is fighting. And that's what this party's been missing. Not ain't tonight. You right, take bro? Okay, every Thursday and Friday. Do you guys uh, stream on Saturday and Sunday so as well? Let's go, Runts. It's time to dance. Dang it. I accidentally did a fight. Uh, hard ass. We don't fight. We kill. So start something you don't want to end in the graveyard. Oh, that's so good. Okay, hey, Thursday now, and Sunday. Hold on. <laughs> we was looking for a throwdown, not a gun down. We don't get in killing fights unless somebody's paying. Oh, what we do. Uh, what was it you wanted again? Maybe we can help you out. Okay, that's good to know. What what time do you guys normally stream? Cuz I want to I want to catch it and I don't think I've been syncing up with you guys lately. Used to be a union. Scrap Miners Local number 168. Oh, she's just out Organized here twerking it on this pole. In steel town. Look at her work it. They were shit conditions were brutal. And that guy's so just like much. playing air guitar. That's a us weird party. And hired a bunch of refugees to take our jobs. So we had to find a new way to make coin. You start at nine our time. Okay, Decided perfect. So I can catch you guys for an for hour before I get on. Well as Hell yeah. And reformed as a mercenary company. <laughs> this guy Local too, he's so happy. <laughs> he looks like He looks like he has no idea what's actually going on. He just like he got dragged here by his friends, and he's just very excited to cheer this woman on. Do it. You get yeah. it, girl. I'm so proud of you. Uh, all right, we're done with you. Good. We got drinking to do. One, six, to the safe. 
One, six, These guys just let us go to the safe after we... <laughs> this is 100% it's me if I went to a strip club. I would just be like screaming in the background, like, way to own your body! Hell yeah! I don't know. I actually should look into that. I, I'm i not familiar if they're actually from Colorado. Uh, I know they've worked on a bunch of games like this before, so let's see. Let's see real quick. Dun, 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 dun. In Exile. They are. I'm looking for it. In Exiles, an Xbox game studio developing console and PC titles with locations in Southern California and New Orleans. So the developers are from SoCal and New Orleans. Uh, the develop the 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 company. I don't know about the actual developers that are working there. I, I know, right? It's so odd that <laughs> they, if they're not from Colorado, they definitely did a Kindle. Jesus, what a name. This man's face is a crosshatch of scars. He puts on a professional smile as you approach. Hell oh, they definitely did their research on Colorado if they aren't time, from here. I assume. Sorry, Ken. Me and my friends are here on business today. Rangers, meet Kendall. Colorado Springs finest, finest purveyor of sins of, of, of the flesh. What a title! <laughs> Shows up thirty minutes late with Starbucks. <laughs> What's up? How you doing tonight, Evie? Uh, I love this That's my title name. that he yes. has. Excuse me a moment. He turns away, hard faced, and one of his girls leans in. You his girls. That's a little possessive. He had a misunderstanding with Mr. Brigo, and they cut off his junk. Smooth like a Ken doll. Get it? What? Makes him a great pimp, though. Okay, that's why he's called Ken doll. What? I was not a ta expecting that. <laughs> You've met Colorado Springs' finest purveyors of sins of the flesh before? I, I want to hear this hot take. Who do you think Colorado Springs' finest purveyors of sins of the flesh are? I did meet a guy who claimed to be Colorado Springs' greatest bullshitter earlier, and I think I would fight him for that title. Rangers, you're not actually going to recreate in this disgusting place. Of course. <laughs> Here at the Little Vegas brothel, we offer a royal flush of ladies and gentlemen of the evening. <laughs> There's the lovely ten of <laughs> I'm hearts, so glad the that people are still talking hearts, about that. The imperious queen of hearts, the mighty king of hearts, the unsurpassed ace of hearts, and for those of you who like it weird and wild, there's the one and only And you know the sad Joker. part? Yes, I want to I want to so, fraternize with the Joker. Pick a card. Any card. Tell us about the Joker. Oh. You're brave even to ask. Uh, I and yeah, after eating it, I don't feel any you smarter like too, which is awful. Dangerous. I was really hoping that was how I got its power. Possibly even life-threatening. Then you might, might be ready for the Joker. But? but I love a good but. I am obliged to warn you that there are no safe words <laughs> the, Joker the Joker. The Joker lives no in a society. And most importantly, no refunds. If you choose the joke, uh, no you refunds. Take full responsibility for the consequences. They they already knew it was coming. Understood. You get no refunds with the Joker and no refunds with universities. It's almost as if they're one and the same. They're both a and joke. Yes, I wanna I wanna fraternize with the Joker. I don't care about anyone else. Thanks for the My sales pleasure. pitch. Just one thing before you go. If you do decide to indulge. <laughs> where is she? Where is she? Tell me where the girl is. Have fun. We're gonna go fraternize with the Joker now. Uh, uh, Robert Pattinson's got nothing on this new Batman. Oh no, 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 we don't want to go in there. Nah, we come into the Joker's room. Oh, I like that it's on a different side and everything. What? It's a du- What? It's a goat? Why is the Joker a goat? 
What kind of fucked up shit is this? They let people fuck a goat in this place? Holy shit! Aren't you a sexy little thing? This, uh, this is my first time. So Your first time fucking a goat? Do I just... Oh! Whoa, okay. T t take it off? I... Uh, on my knees? Uh, this is some okay. fucked up shit! It's chewing! The goat oh. is chewing! Oh. The goat just ate this man's dick on cassette. Holy shit. Okay, we have we have animal handling. We can talk to the animal, I'm hoping. We might not have it high enough. <laughs> Joker's a fucking dom for sure. The goat leisurely paces this well-decorated room. It appears even tempered and attractively rounded. As your eyes meet, it trots up to you, a playful spring in its step. The goat is wearing a bucket around its neck. Someone has stenciled Joker $10 on the side of the pail. Oh, do we put money in the Joker's bucket? We're putting money in the Joker's bucket. Oh, God. The goat lets out a satisfied bleat and turns around and wags its tail excitingly. God, we're about to fuck a goat. Oh, I don't want to click. I don't want to click anymore. Oh god. What? Oh no, no, we f no. Don't commit. Oh god, it gave us a buff. Plus four. I literally can't breathe right now. Oh, we fucked a goat and it increased our penetration ability. Oh, oh no. No, 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 no. No. Oh. I can't believe they let you do that in this game. That's sadistic as hell. Okay. Well, who else can we... I mean, we, we gotta walk in their rooms so we can at least loot them, right? Hydration is important during extended workouts. What's in your locker, buddy? 199. 200. Holy shit. Damn, I'm good. Yeah, you are good. Hail to the king, baby. Time to get sweaty. I like that there's cassettes about people who have been in all of these before. Oh, does this guy just make you work out? <laughs> yeah, we're we're gonna we're gonna get a little silly with all of them. Uh, Comrade Smurf is gonna get in at it with the King of Hearts. I was just warming up. Give me a second, I'll be right with you. At the side of you, the giant, shirtless, remarkable, her suit. What is her suit? I've never heard this word before, but it seems like a word that I might strive to become one day. So let's see. Her suit. Uh, oh, it just means Harry. Uh, no, I have no desire. I have no strive to become her suit. Uh, specimen of a man sets down his weights. He makes no secret of his interests, and he couldn't if he tried. The evidence bulges far too Cause visibly. Cause money to play with the king. These guys are hella cheap. Ten bucks? Yet yeah, let's Father, do it. Now come to daddy. These are remarkably the cheap bird. prostitutes. Entertainers? I like I like entertainers the better. Responsibilities to his ladies. <laughs> now that was some coronation. Hit chance plus twenty-five. Alright, who else we got? We got Ace. Ace seems like it's gonna be a good one. Oh, sweetie. Everyone oh. has nerves their first time. Let's try We just again. walked in on this gal. Slowly this time. I... No, I know how to do it. I just... <laughs> don't 
feel like it right now. Make an OnlyFans? Hey, who the hell are you? I, I have made an OnlyFans, but I haven't decided what kind of content I'm going to post to it yet. So that's the struggle. Uh, you can you can use Johnny. It's fine. Everyone knows my real name. I don't hide from it. <laughs> um, but yeah, I, I have an OnlyFans for Doctor Mokhtar, and I haven't figured out out what to post on it yet. So, I I've been stalling yeah, well, my was just debut. Leaving. Thanks, Ace. I, I uh, you just need some chemical help. Works for us. Take a powder. Just one word for you, kid. Plastics. Practice makes perfect, buddy. Me. I'm out of here. Come back anytime, Benji. <laughs> Schools. So yeah, once finished. once I get it going, I'll I'll let you know. I'll shoot you a link to it. But for you, now, you just like just keep like. it in the back of your mind. This woman wears her age like a gift. Her rose red smile is conspiratorial. Like something intended just for you. She uncrosses and recrosses her legs, drawing your attention south. And for a small fee, I'll show you things you had no idea. Her expression is hungry, full of confident expectation. Yes, ma'am. Strip and get ready to take notes. You'll want to remember the things I show you. See, and the sad part is the character's getting this knowledge, but I, as the player, am not. Sweet so, child. I have no Don't notes to take. I'm just in the dark. Ready. <sighs> what do we get from her? Don't forget to write gorgeous. A professional takes advantage of every single angle. Ace in the hole. You sure went all in with that one. Critical chance, 25%. God, these buffs are hella good. I, I don't even care that I'm getting laid. I'm just, like, in it for the buffs. Oh, this guy. Jack of hearts. Look at him. He seems a little narcissistic. Oh! That's come on the wall, right? That's definitely come on the wall. Oh, oh God. It's everywhere. There's come everywhere in this room. What? Okay. What are we about to get into with you, Mr. You Jack of hearts? Looking. Ditch those zeros and get with this hero. I would buy this jacket that this man is wearing, though. From his pinky ring to his gold neck chain to his skin-tight polyester pants, everything about this guy says he knows he can have whoever he wants. And he wants you. Cash up front. I may be easy, but I ain't cheap. Let's do it. Take it. Take me. Baby, I'm going to take you to paradise. That's some confidence. I have never gone into a sexual encounter you with that much confidence. Like this? Didn't think so. But also, I don't get paid ten bucks every time I have a sexual <laughs> encounter. Out, right? Shuffled. You got dealt a hand, all right. Action points plus one. What? That's so good. All right. The Queen of Hearts. Uh, let's switch characters. Get some buffs all around here. Freya is gonna encounter the Queen of Hearts. You'd look so cute all the time. Oh shit! Whoa! Attention, whores! Too too sexy separates. Do we get? Oh, we got Dom gear we can put on. Hell yeah! Stand there and don't move, kitten. I'm inspecting you. Oh, Jesus. This leather-clad woman crosses her legs and leans forward, her riding crop balanced on her knee. Hmm. You'll do. It costs money for my attention, pet. Pay. And I'll show you the joys of knowing your place. Okay. Yes, please. Now, let's think about safe words. Filibuster? That's my go-to safe word. It's safe, I promise. What do we get? Out you go, pet. Bad beat. You've been very naughty. Evasion plus 15%. <laughs> These buffs are so on theme. I love it. All I want to do is look at you. Aw. Oh, gosh. We're in the little space now. This is the most beautiful woman you've ever seen. 
She puts a hand to her chest the moment she sees Quan. Um, uh, hi. Oh, apparently uh, Quan's been here before. Good to see <laughs> I, I, I'm so happy you're back. I've missed you so much. <laughs> Could you imagine okay? getting outed in a party like this? I, I'm uh, kind of on duty. Maybe uh, s some other time. <laughs> he looks at the rest yeah, of you. Unless you all want to take take a break for a while. We've all taken breaks, my guy. You two, you two can have it out. <laughs> and it's on us, whatever it costs. R really? That. Thank you so much. Uh, you might want to get yourselves a drink or play some blackjack. I'm gonna be a while. He turns to the tin of ten. I. Uh... Oh, Quan. It's been so long. All right, Quan. You better get a good buff out of this. It's never been like this before. Okay. I'll miss you. Quan, what'd you get out of it? <laughs> ace in the hole again. Is she an ace too? No. Wait. What? I feel ripped off. Dang. That wasn't worth it. All right. We've done it. We've fraternized with every yeah, everyone tonight, in the house. That's uh, fine. I got a sitter. I can't Not believe the Joker's a fucking goat. <laughs> That's wild. All right. Let's go visit the boss. Oh man, I love dancing in this place. It's the best. But I've heard a rumor that there's an exclusive secret dance party up at Aspen every year. I don't oh. know what the boss is thinking running us. I feel like there's always exclusive He's secret dance money. parties up in Aspen. Oh, you've never been? You see, with a kickback, they will be. They ain't never said This portrait no is from 30 years action. ago, but Mr. Brigo know, looks exactly he the must same. Have his reasons. Let's talk to the boss, so. man. Uh, Rangers, God, these names are so good. That one was excessive it force. Must be, what, 20 years since we crossed paths. Ah, uh, not that any of you would remember that, of course. You were probably just kids when Vargas and Angela Depp and the rest helped me save Vegas. Is it what? And I hear we have you to thank for Cassidy's fine clothes. Be yeah, we do. My couples and I thank you. You're if welcome, not for Cassidy's, sir. We'd have to settle for second rate suits from the bazaar. <laughs> and that would just not be but worth I'm it. I'm getting ahead of myself. I'm Farron Brigo. Welcome to Little Vegas. My recreation of the glories of the town we lost. Are you going to let us gamble Perfect, again? Isn't it? You know, Angela Death and General Vargas? You haven't heard the story? Hey. <laughs> I'll never forget it. Twenty years ago, Vegas was being overrun by robots. A nightmare. Then Angie and Snake and their squad showed up guns a-blazing and saved the day. Heroes, every one of them. Helped me consolidate control of the city, too. Well, of course you're going to think they're heroes if of they course, helped you usurp a city. Later, the robots came back and destroyed everything. But you know all about that. They attacked you. Anyway. That shared history makes me happy you're here. I hope you'll enjoy your stay. I'd enjoy it a lot more if I could keep ripping you off. You've given it a lot of class. I'm glad you think so. You should have seen it five years ago. Nothing here but the walls, and half of them were falling down. We really worked hard to get where it is today. Yeah, you did. But enough about me. How are things with the Rangers? Is uh, General Vargas still in charge? I'd love to give him my regards. About we owe that. Him and his team a lot. Uh, yeah, we're just gonna tell him he's dead. Damn. I'd heard rumors, but... Well, I'm not surprised that's the way he went out. A hero to the end. Yeah, Thank he was. I'll raise a glass in his honor tonight. Now, what can I do for you? What's the painting behind you? Uh, yeah. I like that that's the first question we ask. I had that painted for my office back in Vegas. Before the robots came. Not a bad likeness, eh? Also, who has red hair? The painting was commissioned before the robots came? That's 20 years ago. Thank you, Rangers. That's very flattering. But really, it's not so much that I have an age, but more that 
the cares and woes of running Vegas back then made me old before my time. Since I've come to Colorado, I feel 20 years younger. When did you move? Why'd you move to Colorado? Like I said, 15 years after the Rangers saved us, the robots came back. Deadlier than before. We held out as long as we could. But without help from the Rangers, the end was inevitable. As to why we came to Colorado? Well, we heard some rumors of the good work the Patriarch was doing out here. Creating a stable, prosperous society. That's exactly the kind of environment a business like mine needs to flourish. So we packed up our roulette tables and hit the road. Tell us about Little Vegas. Uh, I know any attempt to recapture the past is doomed to fail. But I had to try. It's not quite Vegas, but it's close. And since I can't go back, this will have to do, won't it? And besides, the customers don't know it's a pale imitation. To them, this is paradise. All of Sin City behind one door. Fair enough. If you don't know, then it's what you get. Well, not a lot in here. We did get to fuck a goat, though. So, that's a thing. Oh, man, I love dancing in this place. It's the best. But I've heard a rumor that there's an exclusive secret dance party up at Aspen every year. I'm for sure going to get an invite this year. You can, you still can? You can still fuck a goat? Oh, you never Oh, you still can't believe? I was like, wait, hold on. What are you implying right now? Uh, yeah, I still can't believe that happened either. I don't know what the fucking developers were smoking when they decided to include that. Uh, I'm gonna take a quick bathroom break while we load, though. So, enjoy, enjoy the implications of the Joker. While, while we remind ourselves that we live in a society. So that that never happens. You know, it doesn't surprise me at all that society collapses and the first thing people think is, well, why don't we just fuck a goat? No, there's no rules saying we can't anymore, so. Dun, dun, dun. I don't know how to turn power on for all of this, but we might be able to come in here now that the, the, the guys are taken care of. Oh no, not your cat's poop. Good to hear your voice. Yeah? This is the Sam's Luck Department. Who's there? It's the landlord. Fuck. Nope. Okay. Nothing to do there. Alright then. Let's go check out the carnival. I've been dying to see what they got going on over there. Yeah, I wish I wish I had the had clipped that. Yes, Miss Wong. Do you have a description? Description? Who is Miss Wong? It's Mr. Powell in apartment 21. We can't go into the apartments. All right, honey. Sorry. Otherwise, we'd help out. Yeah, travel to Colorado. Got a need for speed? The turbocharger upgrade will make your Kodiak drive faster on the world map. Dun, 
dun 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 dun. Oh man, I gotta remember I have a soundboard because there there will be some excellent moments like that goat fucking thing. There were so many primo sounds we could have used for it. We also can upgrade our <laughs> get a goat sound. Yes, we'll just get a b goat. Well, here's what I this is the one I was thinking. Uh <laughs> <laughs> Which I think would have been an excellent inclusion to after the goat fucking. <laughs> uh, oh, please tell me I can put this on Comrade Smurf. No, dang it. Yeah, Death Wish can't even equip joke gear. Freya? Oh, it's so good. I don't know. I don't know if we give it to her. She's got to be a badass. She she ain't here to uh, unequip. She ain't here to fuck around. We do have a ton of armor now, though. Armor plus four. Yeah, that's the one we want to go with. Get her this full headgear here, and some pawns. Uh, God of Porg needs some good gear too. Yo, the Grub God. Hell yeah. Thank you for the follow. How's your night going? How you doing today? How is life, liberty, and the pursuit of goat sex? Uh, we'll give you the, the, oh no, we can't. Oh my God, it's got dildos for antlers. <laughs> I I feel that there there are not enough hot single goats in my area. I I don't understand why we don't have Tinder but for goats yet, honestly. Well, I mean, in the real world I actually do understand that, but for the sake of for the sake of argument, goats need love too, right? Uh, what else do we got here? God of poor. You need a gun. Can I give you any sort of gun yet? Why don't you have a, a knife that shoots guns? Or a gun that shoots knives? Alright. You can have that. Assault rifle. 9 to 11. Nothing. Pistol. Oh, she uses revolvers. Small arms. 35 to 44. We got nothing better for her either. Alright. Uh, big guns, 10 to 14. Oh, we have a flamethrower now. That's right. Oh, we could drop the rocket launcher for the flamethrower. Is that the play? Because now Cold Greg has a, a rocket launcher. So yeah, we'll give her we'll give her a fl flamethrower. Just because yeah, that's badass to begin with. Alright, trinkets, mods, mods. Uh, I think this is already modded, right? No, it is not. Boom. Confirm. What other mods do we have? A lot. Nothing there. Cancel. What about you? Nothing there. Cancel. I feel like there's an easier way to do this. I bet if I check the mods, it'll tell me what it can go on. Shotgun and flamethrower. Blunt rep weapons. Okay, we have a flamethrower. Slap that bad boy on there. Get that choke. Our blunt weapons. Can get one of these on there. Confirm. Uh, armor modding. Blunt weapon and shotgun. Okay, I think we're Gucci. 
Uh, you can actually level up, though. Let's do a little bit of luck. Keep getting those in there. And I think we want to do armor modding. I feel like we gave someone that already, though. Yeah. Lu Lu Lucia has it already. So we'll just go with more Animal Whisperer. This way we can console the goat next time. Uh, let's see. Combat speed when you have two melee weapons equipped. We need that for this guy. Alright. I think we're looking good. To the carnival. Oh, how do we upgrade our car? I don't know how to do that. Um... Do we come here? Nope. Hmm. There's got to be a way to do this, right? We've bought mods for it. Armor mods. Uh, okay, well let's get let's get Freya's armor modded real quick. You, confirm. You too. Confirm. Boom. Uh, these are for legs. These panels can replace bulkier plates to improve mobility. Alright. Slap that on that. Confirm. Modify. Leg armor. Confirm. Oh, you don't have any leg armor. Oh, we can dress you up in sexy little boots, though. Yeah, that's the look. That is the look right there. And then we can even mod it. That's so good. All right. Uh, I still don't see how we upgrade our car. Maybe we have to be docked somewhere to do it. Guess we'll find out in a second here. We're going to go to the carnival today. We do need to heal our car, too. It's in pretty bad shape. Striking distance. Carrying two melee weapons make you... I, I love the, the description on that, that it makes you aerodynamic. Set a man on fire, and he'll be warm for the rest of his life. It's a fair point. You can't argue with it. Because both, one, you're going to be warm because you're on fire, and two, your life isn't going to last very long because you're on fire. So no matter what happens, uh, enter the area. Los Peos. Los Pe Peasos originated in the town of Arabia, Colorado, sometime after the apocalypse. Where is Arabia? Is that uh, north or east? I'm not sure. Ar Ariba. I don't want Ariba, Colorado. Where are you? Uh, the town of Ariba is a stationary town located in Lincoln City, Colorado. The town's population was 193. Wow. That's a small town. There's only 106 households and 62 families residing in the town. What? All right. Um mess with this. No. I want to I want to fuck with it. No. Okay. Let's see here. Okay, I can't upgrade it yet. Gotcha. Thank you. I, I would have spent like an hour and a half trying to do that. Uh, these guys look nasty. Are we going to fight? I think they want to fight, right? Yeah. Uh, let's talk first. Will you talk with me? Oh, Jesus. Uh, looking for a smart-ass clown to kill. We've come to see the clown museum. It's sacred ground. 
A shrine to, a the, shrine great to the great joke. You're gonna get it. That's I so good. Oh, they're just jumping right into it. All right. It's War were together. declared. You gonna cry now, bro? Oh, I hate that we're not getting the first attack, but we'll see how bad we get jacked up. Hopefully, we'll be able to, like... Oh, we might be able to just drive into half of them. Kodiak, what do you say? Path blocked. Dang it. Cold Greg, can you... Move up to here. And then blast these three fools. Worth a shot, right? Miss, damn. Uh, oops, I did just accidentally take a shot that I shouldn't have. Let's go for... Uh, this guy's up close, but our car can run him over. We're not worried about that. Let's go for this guy. Looks bleeding. I think we want to reduce his damage, because this isn't going to kill him. Yeah, crippled. That's what I like to see. A uh, car do a real good murder on like any of these guys yes all right I don't want to bring it in because it's already super low on health and I forgot to heal it first so we're gonna have to clear out the others first it's out of range let's bring you here 56% to kill him I think it's worth a shot right yeah we love it when a gamble pays off. I can't get into him yet. Uh, so we're going to save our AP on this guy. And then... We go here. That's a 95% chance to hit him. That sounds good. And then we can save some AP. Go defense with you, Lu Lucia. Um. Oh, we can shoot another person. Hell yeah. Uh, let's kill this trickster. Hopefully. Not quite. Dang it. Uh, you can't move at all and shoot. Jesus, your gun takes so much. Six AP. How do we get you more AP, Freya? I don't think we want to go for the 15% shot chance. So we'll defend here. All right. I think we're in a good spot. We've only got to kill like three of them. That's not terrible. Oh, Jesus. Unless they just one shot us. Yeah, wow, okay. This is not going as well as I thought. All right, we're gonna load. I was hoping that was gonna be easier. <laughs> so, unwelcome guests is the mission we have to do. Maybe we'll go do that before we do this so that we can actually upgrade our Kodiak. Uh, which mission is that? I don't know if I've even gotten that one yet. Once I load in here, I'll check. These loading screens are the only kind of bad thing so far. But it's it's what I'd expect in a game like this, honestly. Alright. Let's check. Mission log. Okay, so I don't have it yet, so I probably have to do cornered rats or full house. 
Recruit personnel for range. Probably cornered rats, right? That's going to get me to it. Correct me if I'm wrong, the grub. I'm going to swing around there and go do that one first. I also have barely touched this map. It's so big. Oh, what is this cute little shop? Lug nuts. An Arapaho cube truck and its escort cars are making a delivery at Fortified Farmhouse. The driver looks around Don't you as you approach. You are, but if you ain't looking for trouble, I got some stuff to trade. Yeah, lug nuts. Oh, I can't kiss ass. We don't trade. Oh no! Show us what you got, buddy. Just some odds and ends I've taken in trade might be useful. All right. Commando pants, an Uzi. Oh shit! That's a good weapon. Uh, and I can sell all of these and my junk. I have to buy my banana back though. We aren't letting our sad banana leave. And we don't need any of these. Are you out of cash? Do they have... Okay, no. Merchants don't have cash limit. That's right. I hope not. Boom. Boom. Okay. Uh, I kind of like the idea of the Uzi. And this hammer is very, very good. I do want the hammer for sure. We'll get that. God of poor can equip that. Boom, baby. Now if we could ever actually get him in close enough to do any damage. You'll have to outfit your vehicle with a better chassis to pass through that radiation safely. Yeah, I can't yet. Okay. So I just have to go back to HQ now. I'm just overcomplicating it is what's happening. You have to talk to Gideon Rays at the Broadmoor Heights to get the mission. Okay. Uh, Broadmoor Heights are... I don't know where the Broadmoor Heights are yet. I have not gotten there. So I have to discover Broadmoor first. Dun, 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 dun. There's another selling spot here. Let's see if they got any goodies. Is there just another lug nits? Yeah. Oh uh, yeah, I remember you. We met just some odds and ends I've taken in trade. Is it all the same? It yeah, useful. it looks like it. Uh, I could get a couple helmets here. Shotgun. Hmm. I'll keep that on my list. Once you upgrade, I fucking bet the thing is already crazy powerful. I I am blown away with like the first mission I won by just running everyone over. It was literally the most effective route. And I, I bet like once you give it some survivability. And this here is vengeance for what you did to my family. The boy stands in the headlights of the Kodiak and RPG pointed directly at you. His chest heaves with anger. Only assholes make fun of an orphan's dead family. Assholes like you, apparently. <laughs> I like that it gives this description before you tell it like before you tell him off. Uh, floor it and run him over? No, kids got spunk. I'm not gonna make fun of an orphan. Kids got spunk. Disarm him. I'll find you again. You <laughs> the boy is uncooed as you hop out, walk out, up and slap the weapons out of his hand. <laughs> That's. He's not here to kill you. He's just a kid. He doesn't know what he's doing. I'm assuming this is the way to Broadmoor. I, I can't really tell, given, you know, I've lived here my whole life, but I, d I still don't have the geography down. The Hoon Homestead. Indles Tech. Uh, because our only other option, yeah, that's radiation, that's radiation, that's radiation. So it might be, I think that's radiation too, though. This is the only place we've been able to go without radiation. So, oh, that's radiation. This little corner over here. Is this your secrets map? Radiation there. 
There's radiation everywhere. Vigilant citizens. citizens. Communists are everywhere. They hate and fear <laughs> us because we are free. God. In the Gipper and Liquor One Nine. This here's dead. Oh, I wasn't li done listening to the communist hate. You read me out there, Caballeros? You all recovered from that big old Colorado welcome that Dorsey's gave you? Oh yeah. We read you. Huh. Ain't you nosy? Switch over to twenty-seven point oh six five megahertz. All will be revealed. All right. Switch. Let's switch. Howdy, Rangers. Sorry about the clowning. Have to keep a low profile these days. This is your old pal, Angie, otherwise known as Ranger Colonel Angela Death. All right. Angela. Angela Hi. Death. Somebody remembers me. What do you know? Figured my name would be stricken from the record after me and my crew pulled our vanishing act. Wasn't our intent when command sent us out here to reconnoiter, but well, things took an unexpected turn. Who has been wondering what happened to you? I'll bet. We came out here for the same reason as you, because command was hoping they could make an alliance with the Patriarch and get some uh, foreign aid. Trouble was, the more we snooped around, the more we realized that good old Pappy Buchanan was a bloody-handed dictator that the Rangers Aww. shouldn't have nothing to do with. <sighs> Unfortunately, Command didn't want to hear it. Told us yep. they were going to make the deal anyway. Too desperate to be... We knew the Patriarch was going to be a dickhead. We took a vote, the squad and me, and decided that just wasn't the Ranger way. Instead, we made a pact to take Buchanan down and help Colorado become the home of freedom that Arizona could have been if the Rangers hadn't lost the Citadel to Matthias. This is our this is our path that they're letting us choose Heaven, now. Darling. Who we get the to help. Angel Gabriel's just bringing me another piña colada. Mm -mm. Are we the piña colada? What do you think? We want you on our side, but not without seeing for yourself that Buchanan's a conniving shitbag. That's why I was calling. There's a man you should talk to, locked up in an old Rodmore Heights, Brock baby. Guarded by Mercs, so you may have to do a little shooting to get to him. But when you do, ask him about his beefs with the Patriarch. It'll open your eyes. His name is Ironclad Cordite, a warlord of the Eastern Plains, and one goddamn tough son of a bitch. As to how you find him, I'm a little shaky on the details, but I'm told there's a hidden hatch on some monument at Buchanan Park All right. in Broadmoor Heights. We can do that. And listen. When you do find him, bust him out of there and do what you can to keep him alive. He could help you with liberty later. Also, if you need more firepower, he's got a shotgun for a left <laughs> So we're going to go save Ash. Like, this is some evil dead shit that we're getting into. Gracias, compadres, and good luck. I'll be in touch. Dead red over and out. All right, baby. I'm into it. Uh, who's my mechanic here? I do have some... Where are you at? Sh oh, shrink grenades. That's a cool thing. I know I can repair our car. I just have to find the item. Where is it at here? Toolkit. Is that it? Toolkit, right? No. Uh, energy. Is it a toolkit? Is that the one I'm looking for? Mechanics plus one? No, that gives me mechanics plus one. Repair kit. Is that it? Yeah, it's just a repair kit. Gotcha. You take that. You're gonna you're gonna go repair our our vehicle once we get into an area where you can. Okay. So now we probably have Broadmoor marked, right? Nope. But it's gotta be this way, because this is what triggered it. Oh, are we in yep, yeah, we're in. Oh jeez, get out of there. Ugh, that radiation ticks you down so quick. I hate it. If you don't notice it right away, you just, like, lose half your health. All right. Uh, Broadmoor? This doesn't look like the Broadmoor I know. Nope. 
Nope, 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 nope. Nope. Oh gosh, it's everywhere right now. Oh, there's a little Geiger counter up at the top. Okay. I need to pay more attention to that, huh? Denver outskirts. Jesus, we're already up at Denver? I don't recall I-25 being this short. Let's play a melancholy one now, okay? A song about love, loss, and I know Broadmoor's not by Denver, so it's not that way. Touch the heart. I've used my deduct. That's a little intense. Where's all the road work, right? <laughs> There's not been a single cone. This is not the Colorado that I know. Ooh. Can I raid this little camp? Yes, I can. This might be a hunter's cabin, but the hunter's not here. They won't mind, right? Uh, we'll deal with that later. Oh no, that did nothing! Oh, it just disappeared now. Damn. Well, I should have gone in then. It's also like a two-lane road, which I know is not the case for the 25. Command calling Team November. Uh, got something strange for you. Found a list of pre-war military radio frequencies here okay. at HQ and started checking through them. All dead except one. Don't know if it's a hoax or a trap or what, but I thought you should hear it. Up to you if you want to respond. The signal originates near your current location. Anyway, I'll patch you through. I see it. Where are you exactly? Desert Rangers? I'm sorry, but before I can reveal anything about myself, I have to know who you are. This frequency is for authorized United States military personnel only. I don't think there's a United States military anymore. Uh, the United States doesn't exist anymore. Uh, I think this will get him. One moment. Well, either you made an incredibly lucky guess, or you are who you say you are. All right. I guess I'll have to trust you. I am, well, I hesitate to go into detail even on a secure channel. Let's just say I serve America and everything it stands for. He works for the oil companies! While on assignment, I became trapped in an old military facility near Denver. I cannot disable the facility security from within, but I can guide you to where you can open it from the outside. Uh, why is your name Morningstar? It's a silly question from someone named November. I'm not named November. <laughs> this smells like an ambush. I suppose your distrust is understandable, but this is a matter of life and death for me. I must hope that you will... If you can find Denver's Union Station, then I can guide you the rest of the way. Keep this channel open, and I'll contact you again. Please, find me. Morningstar out. This is odd. That feels a little suspicious. Uh, we got radiation to our right. Looks clear this way. Nope, there's some radiation there. Get out of there, get out of there, get out of there! I hate this radiation. I just need to upgrade my stupid car. No, don't go. Oh, gosh. Oh. Squeeze in this way. Nope. That's radiation, too. But where is this supposed to be? This has to be, like, maybe downtown Colorado Springs, I guess, right? Which means we're probably close to Broadmoor at this point. So it's got to be further down this way is my guess.
Oh god. Oh, am I still Oh no, okay. Nope. Oh, we hit a deer. Oops. Enemy spotted. Some drolls ahead of you seem to be playing a game of keep away. One of them has an old baby doll, the other one wants. They don't see you. Can I do some sneaky shit? Sneaky shit. I love some sneaky shit. Although all my guys are at like half health now. Hopefully we can boost them all up, right? That's the goal. Oh no, did we crash? Nope, okay. Oh, yep, we did. Dang it. Alright. We're relaunching. We're, we're, we're still averaging about a crash every hour or every hour and a half-ish. That's not terrible. While we load that there. Dun, 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 dun. All right. Now we get to go through four loading screens. And then we'll remember to heal up before we... No, wait for the program to respond. All right. I love that purple hair in the background. And this, like, mohawk helmet. Both of those are very great. God, the punk apocalypse would be so cool. I'm so worried that when we get a co uh, apocalypse, it's going to be like a dumb cowboy apocalypse. Because that's what we have right now. It's just like a bunch of rednecks with guns. But let's be real, the punks are the ones who would survive. I don't know when it last saved for us. So this is gonna be a treat. Maybe a little bit before we took some radiation damage. Denver outskirts. Why not visit Denver? The uh, smash it open. Damn it. I should have came back when I had better lock picking. Rusty Nails collapse buildings in background location. Denver, the jewel of the north. Denver ain't the jewel of much, honestly. Alright, um, you. Use item on self. You. Use item on self. You. Use item on self. Goth girl IHOP apocalypse, baby. That's what I'm talking about. That's what we need. We need we need an apocalypse that's really gonna like show us what the alternative groups are all about. We could set. Oh gosh. Uh, we could set, like, home bases and IHOPs and stuff. It'd be so great. What what would the other ones be? What is it? Uh, uh, Thin Boy Hooters? Um, I, I'm so bad about keeping up with them. There's so many. Cash. Dang it. Leave it. Oh. At least we know those are randomly spawned now. That's good to know. If anyone has a full list to the to the goth girl IHOPs and Finboy Hooters and stuff, feel free to drop that right now so that we all know. And then we can decide which which part of the apocalypse we wanna we wanna align ourselves with. Who would have the best chance of survival in our alternative apocalypse? Enemy spotted. Sneaky shit. 
All right, we get to do some murders. Let's see while we're in a, in a 10 minute loading screen here. Dun, dun. Oh, nope, we beat it. Damn it. It was quick this time. Didn't even make us wait. All right. Uh, let's see. Friend, you, you need to repair this first. Invalid target? What? Can you not repair it? Used to restore 50% con. Amount repaired increases. A collection to repair simple mechanical parts and tools used to repair vehicles and robots. Who has my highest mechanics? Is that my problem? God of Poor has some. Marshall has the best, it looks like. All right, Marshall. Can you repair it? No, okay. Well, shit. Oh, this feels rough. Well, I think we just go for it, right? 80. 80, 80, take the shot. Boom. All right. Fire! Defend yourself, friend. It's out of range for her. We'll do this, and we can't overwatch. We can't do that. So, save AP. Uh, you can probably come up and shoot him, right? Oh no, you're God of War. You can't, you can't do jack shit. Uh, I'll bring you around this side. Save your AP. Bring you here. Light him up. Bring you here. Light him up. It's not going to get us a kill yet, but... That should get us a kill. All right, one down, baby. Oh, no. How'd you not get out of the way? You fool. Everyone else was able to. You just let yourself get hit. Well... Let's bring you here. Oh, it was my chicken that got hit. Gotcha. That makes more sense. Chickens can't outrun car. <laughs> Freaking Greg, right? He's not used to the land. Get him back in the water in his element and he'll be fine. That is a beautiful shot. Do it, baby. Blow him up. Resisted frozen. Well, fine. Reload. Uh, wait, was that my only rocket that I had? Well, that's unfortunate. Uh, all right. Wow. There's a lot going on right now. Out of range. Jeez. All right. Smash the hell out of this guy. Finge yourself. Marshall. Let's pull you away. And then shoot this guy. Not great. We're not doing great at all. I don't know why that's out of range. But we can move forward, right? And now he's in range? Okay, good. Thin. Comrade Smurf. 
Ooh, that's a good shot. Is that going to blow this guy up, though, and kill me? Let's find out. Oh, I can run them both over. That's what it's giving me the option to do. Yeah, let's do that, please. Okay, we have 10 life left on it. Oh, jeez. Maybe that wasn't the best play. But hey, as long as we live, that's what matters. Wait, did I just get more AP? How did I get more AP? That was two shots. And it costs six each shot. Well, I ain't gonna say no. I'll take free AP. Blast this guy in the head. And then defend ourselves. I kind of want to go back and make a whole squad of just people with death wish because this extra AP is like making a huge difference. Oh jeez. Like this. Well, that's not what I was expecting to happen. Uh, all right, and then we'll bring you over here. Oh, I can only move you like one space. Okay. Oh, jeez. We were doing good. I don't know about any more. Okay. All right, let's start with this. Blast him. We blast him. Both of these guys are almost dead. All right. Comrade Smurf, I need you to reload, apparently. Why did I not do that last turn? Damn it. Let's take that shot. Yes, his crits are so good. Store your AP. You revive her. Him, ladies. And then blast this guy. Oh, I can't. Dang it. Uh, save your AP. I want to bring Marshall out first before I blow that guy up. Defend. God of Four should be able to kill this guy pretty easily. Oh, well, that's a different way to do that. I wanted him to smash this guy. Oh, no, it hit him still. And then we can bring old Greg up here and store some AP. All right. Not great, but we're getting there. It's a process. Medical attention. Now we just light him up, right? Get everyone we can to just start hitting him. Ooh, Thundering Strike, Leap and Slam. No targets in range. Can we move here and then do it? What, do I have to be, like, on top of them? Charge up this ability which e with each attack, Leap and Slam onto the ground, sending a shockwave around you. Well, that's unfortunate. All right. Uh, we're just going to go all heads, right? Try to get this guy down. Just try to keep blasting him. Uh, is this going to mow down all my guys in the way? Who cares at this point? <laughs> Everyone's dead anyways. Jesus. I do need to see a doctor pretty bad now. Somebody better patch me up. Oh, you'll be fine. Just die again and I'll revive you. There's no consequences to our actions. Need a medic. 
How long are you poisoned for? 40 seconds. All right, just keep dying. You'll be fine, guys. Catch me up. Take them down. Get him up. Just keep waiting on it. We got we got 20 seconds left, guys. You go there, like I said. These guys can do all our reviving. Hold your ground. Just want to look around while they're being healed. Aha! Treasure! I've found it. You can't keep it hidden from me. That is odd that that let me loot that from so far away, though. Uh, nothing? Is this a way I can go? No, okay. That seems like a way I can go. I'm just gonna double check. No? No, okay. It is clarified that I cannot. There's nothing up there. Was this all for nothing? Yep. One one chest of goodies. All right. Let's go see about doing some healing real quick. I think the doctor's probably back at Ranger HQ. Seek the mythic golden toaster parts to unlock the ultimate bread toasting companion. Yes, please. to the base. Oh, uh, is this poison? Okay, we already went that way. Sorry, you were in the road. I can't help it if you're there. That was poison over there. A lot of radiation everywhere. Is there radiation? No, that's the Hoon instead. We can do missions up there. I wish there was a way. I mean, obviously, I think later we'll be able to increase the speed of this guy. Dr. Frankenshooter here with another episode of Monster Gun Mods. Monster Gun Mods. Oh, hell yeah. Last episode took a long time to heal, bro. But... While I was waiting for the skin grafts to set, I got an idea for an even more radical build. You heard okay. of nail guns, right? Well, I'm gonna build a nail mini gun. That's right. Stay tuned. I anxiously await this. Ranger HQ. The head of Rangers HQ security, Sergei Gretzky, is a veteran of the Patriarch's most important battles. I like tips that give you a little bit of lore rather than just like gameplay tips because it gets exhausting seeing that you can press A to jump. All right, we're 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 back at Ranger HQ. Uh, let, let, let's see if I can get this right on the first pass. Once we load in, we've got a dumb joke to do. Any minute now. All right, we're back at Ranger HQ. There we go, we did it. 
done our we've done our return to Ranger HQ sound. Welcome back, Rangers. I hope you like what we've done with the place. The worst of the mess is cleaned up. Now, what can I help you with? The volunteers you mentioned. Uh, multiplayer squad, man. Oh shit! This game has multiplayer. Hell yeah! So long, Rangers. I'll be in the war room if you need me. Uh, where is our Where's our med room? Oh, it's probably gonna be here where all the dead bodies were. Are you here, Doctor? Yes, Doctor. Heal my bones. Hey, Rangers. I'm here at last. Uh, Who's my Smash main? Um, I, I haven't surgery. played Smash in a real hot minute. To call in a few but if I had to pick supplies. one, um, hmm. I really so <laughs> I love playing random in Smash. I I would rather play random well, than I pick a main. For that. If I'm being honest. Mean? Uh, let's see. We'd like to be patched up. Of course. Up. Have a seat. I'm so glad healthcare is free in this game. But uh, let, let me pull up the lineup here real quick so I can give you an accurate assessment of who I'd rather play. Uh, if I had, if I, like, gun to my head, had to pick a main, it would probably be... Hmm, I'm, I'm trying to pull it up. Dun, 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 dun. Gun, gun to my goat's head. No, I would sacrifice myself for the goat before I let things come down to that. Uh, who? All right, gun to my goat's head. It would probably be. I really like Ridley, but I haven't played Ridley in a hot minute. But we're going to go with that. Gun to my head, it'd be Ridley. Uh, how's the patient? Fine. Every four now. Do you have medical mm. supplies? I brought a few things over from the garage. Not much yet, but... Yeah, I, I, I really like the, the mobility the character has. <laughs> Which is, which is one of my favorite things. What do you got? Can I talk to you, dying person? No. Nope. Ooh, med crate. I can steal his... What would your main be? That That is my question to you. <laughs> Private Duncan. Food you're feeding us is gonna cause a mutant. Here we go. I'd Equipment. Cook, Chassis. Nothing. Weapon. Nothing. Mortar. Nothing. Pac-Man's pretty fun, too. I really like Pac-Man. Pac-Man? Oh, my God. I've been watching David play too much Pikmin, and so I've been pronouncing man as min. Uh, hood ornament. Oh, we got this cute little disco bot. I, yeah, I really enjoy Pac-Man as, Pac as well. That's a good character. I, I respect that one wholeheartedly. Leave, Rangers. Load into the car. Let's do it, baby. The Patriarch has three exiled heirs. Son, Valor, and Victory, and Daughter, Liberty. I never could get into Lucas, though. Uh, all of the Earthbound characters have been very tricky for me to get into. Of the prophet 
brothers and sisters. Let's see Make about this now. Strong, hey, yo, Lonk, how is it going tonight? How you above. doing? Take you the we are we are trying to get to the Broadmoor so we can upgrade our darn frickin' car back, already. And stretch it up on a rack of metal or wood. Oh, this guy's speaking Scrape in verse. The skin clean and anoint it with sacred oils. Then leave it under the blessed sky for seven days and nights. Take the long bones of leg and arm and lash the torso onto the kite. Thus will the workings of the flesh bear your gift aloft into the presence of the gods. This dude straight up sounds like an anime villain. Like Jesus. That I, I'm pretty sure I've heard those monologues before. Oh, do we want to escape? Let's gain an advantage. Playing Pikmin 2 co-op. Yes. How is the co-op going? Natural B. Okay, like the ice bomb for ledge guarding is tricky. Gotcha. I see. I've never been a very hardcore Smash player, so I am just like, I'm trash at it. I just stand there and mostly mash like. There, there's nothing more fun than playing Donkey Kong and down B spamming. That's that's the kind of Smash player I am. I couldn't even tell you the ability sets from characters apart. Who are you playing with? Alright. Oh, this is the exact same setup of the one we just did. Yes, our car revive gets healed when we go back to town. That's good to know. Blast him. Uh, do we have rocket ammo? Yes. This would be a good play. Oh, that was a bad shot. Old oh, Craig, come on. How are you just gonna do that to us? Could pop those shots off. Or we sprint all the way over here and get some positioning. Oh my gosh. Our shots are trash right now. Uh, well, we're gonna. It's so bad. God of Poor can run all the way in there if he really wanted to. I could bring him over here to finish this fight. I think that might be my play. And then we'll just work on... No, 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 no! What are you doing? What did I just do? I don't know what I just did. Marshall can come over here, and all those are out of range, so we're going to overwatch... Well, that defeated that purpose. Giga and you are playing on stream. Yes! I love that so much. I'm so glad you guys are playing some. Are, uh, you got, so, but you have no one watch, or do you have people watching right now? You felt like watching Twitch in the background? Okay, no one's on, gotcha. Thanks, man. I'm glad you like them. I've been I've been working hard and having a lot of fun, and I'm glad you're a part of the community. I I really enjoy you checking it, tuning in, and, and checking things out. It really means a lot to me, honestly. Uh, old Craig can come tuck in this little little hole over here, protect the chicken, and we'll have. Oh, I can't Overwatch, so I guess we'll just save AP. Boom. The, the co-op in Pikmin just works that, like, one of you plays Olimar and the other plays Louie, right? What are you doing, chicken? What? The chicken attacks? Hell yeah! Kick the shit out of him, chicken! Uh, that'll fuck up Marshall. Um, I might be able to bring him here, though, and hit these three guys if I bring Freya out. Bring Freya over here. And then old, old Greg here can move in. 
blast both of these guys. Yes, they're crazy now. And then hopefully the car can just fuck up this guy. Of course, we brought the God of Poor in over here, and now he's like a mile away from everything. Comrade Smurf can kill this guy pretty much on his own, because he is our clutcher. Freya can light up. Freya could finish him off, or Marshall can finish him off, probably. Let's see. Nope. It's going to take everyone working on it still. Uh, Lucia can bop a couple shots off here. Why does it say invalid target, but it also lets me shoot him still? That's so odd. Hmm. Snapshot. Usable in combat or exploration. They'll never see it coming. An extremely quick hit. Yeah, why not? We've got the AP. Uh, Freya can blast this guy. Oh, Jesus. Well, that's a way to do that. Our chicken almost died. Oh, our chicken's probably gonna die. Rip, sweet, sweet chicken. Oh, that guy didn't die either. Dang. We're, we're not doing great right now. I mean, we're not doing terrible. I'm mostly sad our chicken's gonna die. I'm so glad he didn't act first. That would have been bad news. Still pretty rough. Everyone is poisoned now. Get him, chicken! Fuck him up! Ah, uh, you didn't do much. Oh, well. You tried your best. That's what matters. Still says invalid target on these guys, which is odd. Is it because they're frenzied? The enemy of your enemy is your friend, I guess? Bring this guy up. What are you doing down there on the floor, Craig? Let's beat the shit out of some people with the God of War. Shockwave! Can I do this finally? No? What is happening? Oh, did I mess up? No? Uh, yeah, I, I didn't have enough AP. Dang it. See ya. Can light up one of these guys. Probably this one, I guess. Load. One more? Nope, not enough AP. Uh, car. Car, do a. G oh, can I just run them over? Oh, what am I doing? Why am I wasting time? Run, everyone! Honk, honk! Who needs guns when you have car? Yes, I have played Siege, and I absolutely love that game to death. I. I have not played it in a couple of years. I played it a lot when it first released, uh, but I have not. I have not kept up with it, unfortunately. But I still absolutely love it. I used to. That used to be my main competitive game I played. Uh, intelligence, skills, uh, big guns, big guns. Big guns and explosives. Healthy is not bad. Suppressing fire. Gain 5% combat speed on the first turn. Fire resistance and explosive. Let's go with... I'm using a flamethrower right now. Let's go with that. They just added Sam Fisher? What does that even look like in terms of gameplay? I, I don't I don't know what that would look like. What what's his ability set? Now that I just got back to, from the doctor, everyone needs a doctor again, damn it. <laughs> Heat, cold, and explosive damage. All ignore armor. Especially given the new Splinter Cell games, like 
Sam Fisher is just Batman at this point, so, like, how does he behave as an operator? He's an attacker with a pistol that has four cameras. They can view both sides of walls and have one laser that works like Twitch's drones. Oh, shit. So, so he can see through the walls to know where everyone is beforehand? If so, that is buck wild. That feels like it turns the tide way in the attacker's favor. Can he not strong. heal? Then Pretty much, you have to pick Colorado which side you see. It has a bright yellow light so defenders can spot it. Gotcha. So they know you can see them and they can plan accordingly, but that still feels like it's giving way too much information. That's like, that is the one thing they have going for them, is that you don't know where they are in the room. And even if they adjust to that really quick, it feels like... It, it, it feels like they're going to be able to, re like... Attackers are going to be able to respond way quicker than the defenders can do anything about that. Does it only show enemies, or can you see, like, their setup and everything, too? Damn it. Makes- Oh, Mute can counter it! Gotcha! That makes a lot more sense. It's still... It's just like a regular cam. Wow. Hide the Kodiak and make some repairs. Uh, stay the night and recuperate. Uh, first aid. Tend to our injuries, baby. Okay. That helped. That's exactly what I needed. All right. Um, yeah, that, that seems wild. I don't know how they could introduce that not expecting it to be broken almost immediately. Is, is the general consensus that it's pretty busted, too? Other than, obviously, the people who are playing him as mains right now that are making the argument that it's totally fine and should never be nerfed. Denver outskirts. How am I back here? I'm so confused as to where Broadmoor is in this game. Last episode, Pogo Fogo, master it's still technically tel test server. Okay, so it actually hasn't dropped in, in, in the real game yet. That makes sense. He also has an MP7 on attack? What? So he knows where everyone is and has, like, one of the best guns for attack. There's no way he doesn't... They have to nerf that before releasing it. Friendly warning to anyone in the Denver area. And grenades! We want to avoid Union Station. We've gotten reports that it's inhabited by a violent gang called the Hardheads. I guess you gotta Where be stubborn to be... is this? Apparently their leader is named... Uh, mission Log. Lips. Not terribly intimidating or evocative. That's absolutely insane. In Find someone to step green uh, inside you. Where are you at? Oh, apparently I'm not even the level to be doing this yet, so I should probably not even be looking for the Broadmoor Heights right now. What the fuck? What is that? I can talk to that? Come here, robot! Ranger HQ. Hey, um, listen up. I got a distress call from near your position. A man named Bulb 
says his mind's being attacked by uh, Martians. Martians. How how is the meta of Rainbow Six looked lately before the introduction of Sam Fisher? I I know when I had quit it was really fairly well balanced. Wasn't too clear on but as I said, this Martians was like two are. years ago, probably. But could be any manner of beast or monster. I think the last DLC I did for the game was the uh, the Sub Zero stuff, where they had like the cruise ship that was all frozen and stuff. That was the last time I remember really playing the game. Just your daily reminder to stay away from the abandoned parts of Denver, where unseen voices whisper and dumpster divers disappear. What? The unseen parts of Denver where voices whisper? What parts of Denver are these? I don't remember ever experiencing that in Denver. Unless it's just like the improv houses. It might be the improv houses. It's okay. Clash is overused. Jaeger is still top pick. Gotcha. That doesn't surprise me at all. Jaeger's already been very good. But attackers were balanced. It are, how are defenders? Stop it. Stop it. Uh, I don't think I played with Clash. What is, what is Clash's abilities? This does not sound like a classic song. Oh shit, this is a classic song. What a cover of this, damn. Okay, I'm kinda into it. Okay, it's gotta be over this way then, right? With a montage shield that is entirely glass and can shock people. So uh, I'm assuming by glass it can be shot through really easily though, right? But you have the added bonus of shocking people to stun them. Nope, nope, nope. That's going to be radiation. The Hoon Homestead. gotta be down this way, right? This stream is gonna be six hours of just driving around trying to find Broadmoor. More like allies, he can see through and peek around her. It's invincible, though. Does it at least crack? So that you get, like, vision impairment? Otherwise, that seems, I mean, very powerful. Other than the fact that, like, you can't do much while you're behind the shield. Name's BB Gun. Glad to meet ya. Thought We're gonna kiss some ass. I'll tell the others you right. said so. Uh, civil fortitude means you took this stuff from suspects, right? Any tips? Uh, let's see Let what you got. Open the back. BB Gun. Uh, these. We want more of these. Buy some hypnos. All right. One would hope, but no. Oh. So, so my guess is what they do is they choke a door with that character while everyone sits behind and lights up what they need to light up. And they can just sit there stunning anyone who tries to come in. Obviously, you can flank around from other angles and stuff, but that's that, that feels like a good base setup to have. Yeah. Yeah, that, that does not surprise me. One Or blocking windows, yeah. Which is probably why Jaeger is still seeing a ton of play right now, too, right? I feel like Jaeger is a pretty decent hey, direct Lance, counter to that. Trade? My name's she Monster. Let me open up the store. 
Uh, well, we'll buy some more of these since you have them too. EMP grenades. Do you also have nitro spikes? Yeah. Let's get two of those. All right, sure. That seems like a good place. Now, please tell me this is Broadmoor, and I've just been driving around for no reason. There's a whole ass area over here I haven't explored. And hopefully we can find Oh, fuck. Oh, no. Oh, gosh. Another place to rest. Take all that junk. Just became three-player co-op. Yes! Okay, now, I know how two-player co-op works. How the hell does three-player co-op work in that? And who'd you get on board? Uh, no, we're good. See ya, she monster. So long, nope, that's that's radiation. Jesus. Is this it? Is this Broadmoor? Please tell me that's Broadmoor. Nova, hell yeah! The bazaar. So how does how does three player co op work in Pikmin? I mean, two player co op seems like it, it, it's a very obvious uh, a pre war mall and once headquarters of the Savage Monster Army. Now an indoor market. Let's go check it out. Two player co op seems like it lends itself really well. One of you plays Olimar, one plays Louis. So how does who does the third person play as? Player three's president. Oh, that's so cute. Does the I'm assuming the the Pikmin count in the in the level stays the same, and you just have to divide them amongst each other, or like you can call like you, you have the four is Olimar's wife. Aww, that's adorable. I love that. That's wholesome as fuck. Travelers have been known to wait outside for days or even weeks in hopes of gaining entrance into the bazaar. And I'm just going to walk right up and go in. Huh. You got work tomorrow? All right. Hell yeah. Well, thanks for stopping by. I really appreciate it. It means a lot. I'm, I'm glad that we got to talk about I'm Rainbow sure Six, you. too, because I... I've been thinking about picking that game up. And so you you might convince me to but with your very me. light talk about it. I know something is fishy here, and I'm leaving. Shame. Ah, Something's fishy. Here, Welcome. Uh, what's in here? If civilization collapses, I want to do some exploring first. Springs will look like this. <laughs> Half of Colorado Springs already looks like this. The Book of Nauseatingly Correct Manners, Chapter One, on the proper use of etiquette. It is a common misconception that etiquette exists as a means of affirming. Oh no, I was listening to that. Mix chemicals at random. <laughs> uh, I want to hear that actually. I I want to hear the Schmanners podcast. How do I get to it? Inventory. Miscellaneous. Where are cassettes? Show stats? No. Is it not here? L? Mission log. Hmm. I don't know where it's at. Dang it. Dang it, we've missed out on the Schmanners podcast. Toaster repair. Oh, you don't have perks. Damn it. You do have skills, though. Sneaky shit. Firm. Coordination. Confirm. Who else has leveled up? Coordination. Confirm. 
Uh, I do like lock picking. I think we should keep putting points into that. That's getting us a lot of access to things. The robots you hack will now be attacked by other enemies. Field stripping now is a chance to provide weapon mods. I think we want to go with that. Let's get some bots on our team. And not the bad kind of bots. Sleeping bags. The great who? Uh, the great ha! Gurn. I see you have come from afar. Well, your travels are amply rewarded. And only the s the great Gurn. The great Gurn. What do you have to say? Oh wow, really? Yes, I know, I know. Your ears can scarce believe what you're seeing. Ah, but it is indeed I, ready to tell your fortune. <gasps> Ooh, read our fortunes, Gurn. Tell us your Why fortunes. Have we chosen those who do not prepare for the future. Are clowns. Fair enough. To begin, but maybe I want to be a clown. Alright, I've got it. Concentrate solely on the color. I have Aphantasia. That's not gonna work, Gurn. Your mind. Estas ready? Oh, yes. I see an ocean of waves. You're wrong, Gurn. Your color is blue. That's not the color. Apologies. <laughs> I was impatient. Uh, now I don't think I this guy's going to be programmed to guess magenta. Toward the warmth of a red sun. It must be so. Red is the color you are thinking. Ah, it's magenta, dog. You're not very of good at this. Of course, of course. The story is not done. <laughs> it's not blue waves you are riding. It's blue ice. And the red sun... It is not you that moves toward it. He ain't going to get this. Although blue and red combine it, it's pretty close. Uh, I'll give him purple if he gets purple. Then there is peace, and you are surrounded by trees. Many green trees. Green must be the color you were thinking of. Wrong again, buddy. Uh, it is not your fault. With time comes knowledge, and with knowledge comes clarity. I must know more before we can continue. Tell me, All right, what Gern. is it that brought you to these Let's lands? Let's see if you can get there. We want to take control of Colorado. Truly? I can only wish you luck on that I'm so off goal. board of the Patriarch already. Uh, I don't need to be convinced. Just one more question remains. Why have you come to the bazaar? We're exploring. Yes, yes, fascinating. It's all coming together now. Listen carefully, for the fortune I tell you may very well save your lives. I don't think and it's gonna. Lives of men. You do not know it, but you have two faces, and only when you master both will you gain your true goal. A good way to keep healthy is to eat more Chinese food. Ah, but wait. Uh, I don't think I've ever heard that in my life, but I'll take it. I'll, I'll eat some Chinese food. Now I can clearly see you standing before a red balloon. The red balloon bursts without warning, and you stand covered in red blood. Beware. <laughs> Beware. <laughs> that is uh, you gave me all a key. I can see. Your path is hard, Maman. The fates have spoken to me. I must give you this key. May it be of no use. What is the key for? The great Gurn stares at a point in the distance, softly chanting in an unfamiliar language. He does not appear willing to answer your question. Uh, Flab is a cabron who wouldn't recognize talent if it bit him in the belly. He claims the monster army already has some kind of mechanical fortune teller. But how could a machine possibly match my intuition? My gift? My panache? My panache. Who's Flab? Flab is the leader of the monster army and has been for many decades. 
growing fat and slothful all the while. <laughs> I like Gurn. I wish Gurn could come back Beware with us. the red balloon! There ain't ever going to be a red balloon. We already know it. But I hope, I hope, hope, hope there is at some point. I hope that I'm proven wrong about the red balloon. I hope we have a moment of 99 S loft balloons. Do I fight it? Oh, I fight it apparently. Uh, we're just going to go ahead and quick load here because that was uh, pretty rough. Well, everyone's nearby-ish. I can bring them in. Oh, yeah, and it's dead. It just blew itself up. That's fine. Just revive him. Whatever. That'll do nicely. Thanks. It's not like it's hard to heal in this game. I'm actually quite surprised at how easy they've made it. All right, Comrade Smurf, don't let us down. Oh, beautiful. Easy. There's gonna be more of them, right? Senor yep. Bubbles, where you at, Bayaso? The pigs are getting hungry. Went up top for him. Get him. Nope, we're gonna start with Comrade Smurf here. Got him! I really like that overlay and how it folds out. I should reload too real quick. Will it let me? Nope, it's already reloaded, okay. But God, that was, oh, stop, stop, stop. Shoot him. Shoot him, shoot him. Oh no. We've missed a shot now. That's okay, I think we're good still. I think we'll kill it in one still. Yeah. Easy baby not even a contest. We're just mowing them down at this point. These onesie twosies are super easy. Doggo! Cautious. Sniff. Someone has turned an inflatable gorilla into a frozen gargoyle. No doubt the hopes of scarring away on... No doubt in hopes of scaring away unwanted guests. English is fucking hard, guys. A out of dollars. Doesn't appear to be anything else here. Let's see if anything pops up when I come over here. Nope. All right. Back this way. The steel bridge is heavily rusted, yet it seems operational. The pulley cables stretch across the grab, suggesting it can only be lowered from the other side. Duffel bag. What's inside you? <gasps> Honda doll watch, baby. I, I I downloaded the sound for that, but I didn't get it set up on the soundboard yet. So, haunted doll watch will have to come later. But for now, I will I will do my best to replicate it. Hey, not bad, Pendejo. Not bad. Oh. We gonna kill those guys in a second here. But not before doing some searching still. There's a lot on this side of the bazaar. Jesus. Oh, shit. Pick lock? Computer? Why is lock picking for the computer? That's so odd. 
Computer display reads greenhouse pesticide control system. Ready? Do you want to flood the greenhouse with pesticides? Not yet. Let's bring everyone here first. Because I have a feeling this is going to trigger combat. Use. 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 Alright, everybody. Oh, they all stopped dead in their tracks to use their items. It's time. Pesticides! There's a whir of electric motors and the rumble of pumps. A message appears on the display. Releasing pesticide warning toxic gas in use. Please stand by. After a few moments, the pumping ceases. Hell yeah. Murder them! Kill them with gas! What? The pain train. Okay. That seemed unfair. Okay, that seems super unfair. Um, I could just pull everyone back, right? Let them die from the poison. I don't know if that's the play. I might just be able to do murders on all of them. Headshot, baby! We do have Comrade Smurf, who is a god. Smash! Uh, precision strike. This one. We'll go for arms. Just because he's not going to die right away. Precision strike on this one. Where we will also go for arms. Oh, damn. We fucked him up. Uh, we'll defend here. Oh, Cold Craig's not here. Bring Freya up here. And store some of that. And then Cold Craig is here now. Ugh, this is so dumb. That poison should have just killed them all. We might end up loading. See ya, come out. Old Craig. Blast these fools. Reload. Bust a cap in him. Comrade. Freya, Lucia. I'm gonna go for that. And that again. Oh no, I don't have enough. Damn it. Yeah, that's exactly what I was hoping would happen. We get one little splash damage. Yeah, I think we're we're dying. We're gonna have to load here. That's unfortunate. We're gonna. <laughs> combat hype. Uh, you just your your combat hype came right at the uh, the reset of combat hype. <laughs> we uh, we were not doing great in that fight. We came in woefully unprepared. We thought uh, we tried to poison him to death, but it didn't work.
Did we discuss th th this idea of multiplayer Pikmin makes me really want a Pikmin Battle Royale now. Where the game is about like survival rather than killing each other. And so you're just stuck in the Pikmin world with all these terrible monsters all around you. And you have to kill the monsters for points. And so the player who lives the longest and has the most points is the winner or some shit like that. I think that'd be a, a dope-ass Pikmin Battle Royale. Alright. Yes, release the gas. Now we wait and we see. Is this going to be enough to kill them? I hope so. You accidentally beat the shit out of each other and now Giga and you are dead and Mel is playing with 10 HP? Oh. <laughs> Wait, so you can... Friendly fire is turned on in the game? That seems absurd. Why is friendly fire enabled? I don't know how long this poison lasts. Eventually, we're going to have to take them, right? You can turn it on or off, but you turned it on for a good laugh. That's fun. <laughs> That seems like a really good time, honestly. Do so can you throw is it just the uh the normal uh the normal melee that you guys have or is it also like you can throw Pikmin on each other and stuff? Cuz that's what I imagine when you say Pikmin friendly fire. You can't underestimate Giga's bloodlust. Okay, now we need to engage before they start healing. Yes, no scoped, baby. You can only punch each other. Okay, that makes a lot of sense, honestly. It, it seems like it'd be a little odd if they let you do more than that. Overwatch. Cold Gray, get in there. Uh, gosh, you can't do anything. Freya is pretty rough right now. I might need to remake that character. Bring you all the way in. Whoa, wait. How did I just get double AP? Overwatch, baby. Yeah, that, that sounds like a really good time, though. All right. Enemy turn. Now they're just going to move in. Eyes on target. Why do you not melee? Slam! And welcome to the jam. Uh, tame Predator. Temporarily turn a hostile animal against its own kind. Can I use that on one of these guys? No targets in range. No, okay. Alright. Uh, yeah. Bust a cap in you. Bust another cap in you. Will that finish him off? I think that'll finish him off, right? Yeah, baby. Precision strike here. Uh, we'll just go for the body. That should kill him. Perfect. Snapshot. Nah, we'll just defend. And then Cold Greg can come over here and prep for these guys. 
Just in case. Target's blocked. Yeah, there it is. I knew that was going to happen. Cold Greg is on it, though. Uh, let's go for the head. Hopefully, we can one-shot one of these guys. Clear out the this side a bit. So, it's not going to be too overwhelming. Nope. All right. That's fine. Uh, Torrent Strike. Charge this ability with... Fire a torrent of death on a wide area. Neat. I think I'm just going to overwatch with her. Oh, that's... Bo okay, cool. I can shoot through that? That's so weird. That's exactly what I wanted to happen, baby! Now they're going to fight each other. Yes! Cold Greg coming in clutch with the Crazen. All right. Uh, what do we got here? Invalid target. God of Poor should be able to kill this guy. Oh, unless he misses. Well, that's unfortunate. Freya, can you do some work, maybe? I think heads the play. Oh, you weren't Freya. Well, kill this guy. Thank you. Now, let's get some cap busted into this guy. Finned. Comrade Smurf can shoot him. That guy's crazed. So these two are the ones we want to work on right now. Yes! God, I love Comrade Smurf. He's so powerful. He's exactly what all of my characters should be. What is this shot? Ah, <laughs> 69. Nice. That's rough. Uh, but if we come here, then next turn we can do it. All right. Yeah, and these guys are going to go to town on each other. It's like a Pikmin playthrough in co-op. You sloppy little man. Get ready for this. Freya. Blast them all. <laughs> That's so good. All right. Um, okay, so I'm really curious what this whole idea of, like, why I can move so much and then also attack, or at least earlier I was able to. That's odd. Now I can't. Uh, they're both pretty weak. Reload. And then save an AP. What's going on here? Out of range, out of range. Go revive old Greg then. Not enough APs. Quick shot. Nope, missed. Reload. Cutscenes are broken as fucking co Why are they broken? What's What's the deal there? Oh, come on. Dang it. Mark target. Let's mark a target, sure. Probably should have done that first. But oh well. Uh, and we'll save your AP. Oh, stop it. Because story mode cutscenes weren't meant to run from multiple cameras. Okay. So it forces every character to have a camera. That's a wild way to handle that. Uh, 
Uh, all right, let's start with you. Beat the shit out of this guy. Fend yourself. Marshall. Yeah, that's that's an interesting way to go about that. I would assume that it's a yeah, it is a ROM hack after all. You're absolutely right. It just it seems like the the easy way to handle it would be to uh force force all the characters into one perspective when you hit a cutscene. But also, I don't know anything about actually like ROMing games myself, so for all I know, that could just be the only way to get it to work. Oh, come on. For real, my guy? Freya, don't let me down. Ask me fucking murder the god of poor. Um, okay. This is a cabbage patch kid. Aww. Planters. Creepy dolls have been planted here, and they actually appear to be growing. What? That's kind of wild. I have failed. The wind is howling, and the snows have fallen. They planted a bunch of dolls? The children no longer speak to me. They huddle in the cold earth. Can I come back and harvest them later? I hope so. My blood. I want some free creepy back. dolls. Nothing is left of me now but bent bones and hollow regret. The children of the cabbage tested me and found me wanting. Darkness has fallen. I will go and lie with him one last time. Then dream of a spring I will never see. What the fuck is this guy going on about? No, burn book. That's dumb. I wanted more creepy dolls. Does somebody actually lived in this ruin? Oh. Well, go revive him. Okay, yeah, we don't have the explosives to disarm these traps. Gotcha. What the fuck is this place? There's a cannon? A cannon is certainly one way to extract teeth. What? Why is there a cannon extracting teeth? What does that even fucking mean? Dr. Smiles? This man is tearing teeth from the corpse on the dentist chair in front of him. He turns to you with a maniacal grin, revealing a face covered in blood and clown makeup. Hola, mamon. Bienvenidos to Dr. Smiles' orthodontic practice. <laughs> Tea cannon. <laughs> teeth <laughs> cannon. A cultivator of cuspids. Do you have an appointment for full teeth extraction service? We do. Weird science. Only the cuspids? What about the other teeth? Ah, oh, delightful. A fellow connoisseur. Don't fret. Cuspids are my favorite, but I'll gladly take all your teeth. Now, you have an appointment, yes? Dr. Smiles hype, for sure. Uh, yeah, we made it under Go Fuck Yourself. No, do you take yes, walk-ins? Yes, of course. I was in the <laughs> middle of some work on the previous corpse, but that can wait. Sorry, Psycho. Nobody messes with my pearly whites. They're my best feature. Marshall, come on! It's not every day we get visitors with teeth like yours. They'll fetch quite the price once I rip them out of your mouth. Damn it! Way to just engage us in combat. Oh, we're about to get shredded. Because they're going to get the first attack, yep. Oh, no. We've lost already. We've lost before it's even begun. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. We're not even going to waste time there. We're going to load right now. And while that loads, we're going to take another bathroom break because the water is going right through us today.
Taking it. You're ready for some live targets now. Hey, not bad, Bendejo. Not bad. There, see how easy that is? Not bad, Cabral. Now do it again. All right. Dr. Smiles, are we ready to fight you? I don't know. We want to fight Dr. Smiles, I think, but I don't know if we're ready to. This is a hell of a, like, thing we're going into. All right. First things first, we got to heal everyone up. Oh, they've all got broken bones and shit. Yeah, we shouldn't. We might be able to go fuck with the psychos on the other side of things. Um, Why am I not bumping up his speed? He needs way more speed. Gotta get in close. Close those gaps. Mechanics isn't bad. Animal Whisper's not bad. I do love some Animal Whisper. Yeah, let's go Animal Whisper. I think that's fun. I think the God of Poor can be a man of the animals. No perks, skills. Let's get you some more mechanics, I think. And some more... No, I don't like you with sneaky shit. Uh, Kiss Hass isn't bad. That's fine. You seem like a bit of a kiss ass. Uh, we'll go intelligence. Just one nice, well rounded character. Uh, you can have some coordination just so you get some more action points. Dump some points into. Ooh, hmm. Weapon and armor modding are both great. Let's go weapon modding to start. And then your strike meter charges a bonus 5% with each successful handgun attack. Fires a shotgun shell. We don't want that. We're not using shotguns right now. Handguns attack tax doesn't sound bad. Veal stripping now has a chance to provide with you with weapon mods. Let's go with this. We're using handguns. That feels appropriate. All right. We've got mines everywhere here, so we got to be careful. Disarm. Can we pick that up? Yes? Or did I rearm it? What just happened? I don't know what just happened with that. Oddness. Quite unusual. Rubber ducky! Mission critical item. Who needs a rubber ducky? We found someone's rubber ducky. Nothing seems to be over here. Okay, this is the fight that I think we can take. Uh, disable failure requires mechanics level four. All right. Bring you into the group. Grab the group. And come this way. Do not cut corners, you fools. I've just healed you all. Okay. Uh, who's our mechanic? Marshall? Marshall. Marshall, go work on this. Alright, that's taken care of. There's a whole no, bunch of guys. Left. Oh, look at the no, dino! Other left. What are they shooting at? Bowling ball? Bowling pin? Yeah. Right? Oh, fuck! 
I got so distracted looking at what they were shooting at, I wasn't paying attention to my fucking combat. Alright, well... Charge, fool! Uh, can I overwatch you? No. Damn. Uh, save your AP, though. I'm sure we can do something with it next time. What? Did I just wet my pants? What just happened? I think I pissed my pants. Oh, we're gonna blow that tank up. I don't care if you're concealed. We can hit that tank. Why not? What the heck? Let's bring you in. You can hit the tank. Out of range. Is it because it's concealed? No, I can hit him. Target blocked. Okay, so let's come here. And now hit the tank. How's it blocked? Let's come here. How? What are you blocked by? Is it because there's a dude in the way? There we go. All right, we figured it out. We're going to mark him now. Bring her in. Swing him around and beat the shit out of this guy. With my hammer. Blast that guy. Blast this guy. These guys are all frozen. I don't know what frozen does. We might have fucked this up, though, too, by letting them get the first attack on us. Yeah. I think we're going to lose this fight. Oh, it's our turn. You bring up Comrade. I think, can you punch a guy? Yeah. Well, you can try, I guess. Three AP. Three AP, you say. Reliable, that takes six AP. All right, well, we'll shield up. Probably should have moved him out of there first. 5% chance. 37, 20, 88. That's the shot we're going to take, I think. Beautiful Freya. All right, uh, 36, 50, move. Can I move anywhere that gets me better? Yeah, right there. And then we can kill this guy, hopefully. Nope, almost. We're not doing great here. All right, we got a murder. All right. This guy's going to flamethrower all of us again. Yeah, we're going to load. That was bad. Oh. We're not doing great with these fights. Why didn't that load? Our combat encounters have been subpar. Let's check over here while we load on David's stream. How you doing here, David? How's how's the Pikmin going?
We're gonna we're gonna give David a little listen. On, like here. the background here, it looks like just like a JPEG of like a grand. This is Canyon this is my buddy David Baxter. Like he's streaming too. He's streaming Pikmin. He's the other half of the bundle bourgeoisie. He does a podcast with me like, every looks like month. A JPEG of a cave. And uh, next, uh, tomorrow, we're getting uh, Yo, our, our new podcast. Going good, Gafflocker. Thank you so much for joining us. Yeah. Uh, are you still doing your uh, Wasteland 3 stuff? We are still oh, streaming. Right. Oh, that's, that's going pretty good for you. Just saying hi. It's going good. We're just trying to get a couple more purple Pikmin to uh, grind up to screen. our 100 Pikmin goal. Uh, that way, we can get the weight that is in oh, hell uh, yeah. one of the final areas over here. Uh, but let me see. They've almost got it. He's almost completed it. All right, we're going to mute him and come back to the game. Hopefully, hopefully he was done talking. <laughs> and hopefully we can do a murder. I think this time we'll be ready now that we know it's going to, like, there's a guy that's going to move. Do we have everyone here too? No. Frey is not here. Oh god, that might have been a bad move. Okay, good. You're here, you're here, you're here. Alright, you go disable this. Boom. Alright, now let's get people set up. You go here. You come here. You get back here, actually. While this is happening. Come on, come on, comrades Murph. Alright, there we go. One. Uh, God of Poor can come in there. Uh, Cold Greg, I want to put here. And Freya can come over here. Okay, perfect. Cold Greg can now move in. And we can take the shot here. Oh, I didn't get it in time. Damn it. Oh, wait, yes, I did. Okay, good. Whew. All right. So, Cold Greg, we can bring in just a little bit. And hopefully get all three of these guys in one craze. Two of them. We can get two of them. Damn. All right, that's fine. One of them's the fire guy. Oh, unless we miss. Jesus. That's bogus. All right. Well, who's our best shot right now? This guy's 93%. 78. Let's bring the God of Poor in. Boom. Not enough AP to do anything, so we're just going to defend. Marshall here is out of range for everyone, so we'll bring him up. And now we should be able to hit some guys. This guy right here. We do have this nitrogen tank here, too, that we can do something with again when the time comes. We're playing a little more aggressively, which might not be the play, but who cares? We should can come in. Still out of range for everyone, though. Damn. Frey is not, though, baby. Let's light up this guy. Oh, wow. Those were good hits. All right. Uh, let's see if we can finish him off. Perfect. Boom, baby. Uh, and then we'll defend. And Lucia should be able to overwatch. Yeah. Not terrible. Oh, except we're about to get all blasted with fire. Oh, Jesus. What does Demoralize do? God of Poor is dead, though. There's no way he's surviving this, right? Yeah, there it is. He dead. Oh, and and Cold Greg is dead too. Jesus. This is not what I was expecting. Marshall's got a good angle on this guy though. Puncturing shot. Ooh. Yes. I'll take that. Store some AP. 
I, I don't think we're pulling this fight off again. I, I think we might have to come back when we're a little better here. But we sure as hell can try, right? We have nothing to lose but our chains, comrade. Uh, you're not quite full there. All right, mark a target first. Also takes 50% damage from precision strikes. Yeah. Let's mark this guy. And then that should increase our chance to hit him. So now we can use this and go for that. Oh, the flame tank. Fuck it. That'll kill him instantly. Oh, we killed him either way instantly. Huh? That's funny. Uh, we have three turns cooldown on that. Take him down. A reliable attack that has a 20% chance to hit, minus 100% critical damage, and 33% damage. Eh. We'll just... Oh, can I not shoot him? I don't have the, the AP there to make another shot. Uh, what do you have here, Freya? Center mass. Oh, that's the one we were just looking at. So if we do this, that should probably pretty much kill that guy. We've got two more left. If we can hit that nitrogen tank, we'll be golden. The sound design in this game is so primo. All right, he's concealed himself. Uh, 11%, 30%. Um, I think we take Marshall first and we blow up this tank. Boom. And then we can aim down on this guy again. Go for the head so we can just kill him. If we pull this off down two characters, I'm going to be very surprised. Trick shot. Fire the handgun. Attack that has minus 50% hit chance. If this attack hits, you gain an instant 3 AP. Holy fuck. That's such a good hit. All right. All right. We'll, we'll give it a go. After we see if we can kill this guy. Move forward, 32 and 11, 22, 22, 32. Do we have anywhere that gets us up? No. Okay, so we'll just go for the 32%, right? Boom. Didn't kill him, but it hit him at least. And then Freya. It's a 5% chance to hit right now. I mean, 5% is enough to kill him. that, then it becomes a 12% chance, and still enough to kill him. Let's do that. Oh, damn it. We missed, like, missed it by a hair. No, don't do that. Oh, I didn't mean to move you. Can I shoot still? Yeah, but we missed. Rip, you're probably going to die now. You're just standing out there in the open. Bye, Lucia Wesson. You think she's li related to the Smith and Wessons? All right. 32%. Reload first. Yeah, we're just going to take those shots, right? Save some AP. Any, I mean, not going for these shots right now is just dumb. Fuck, maybe it isn't dumb. Jesus. 20%, 5%, 30, 53. What about up here? 45, 48? That's not bad. All right, we're going to bring Marshall over here and see if we can't get this shot from the flank. Yes, beautiful. All right. Now we just got one more to deal with. You scared, bro? You scared, bro? Bro, you scared, bro? How scared are you, bro? Scared enough to die, bro? You've been marked. 
Boom. Oh, come on. Oh, come on. Well, apparently this last guy is just going to be impossible to kill. We'll bring her over here. And then just reload. I can't, oh, I can't reload. It takes four AP to reload her gun. Jesus. That's insane. Demoralize. Yep, but now you're out in the open, baby. Should make you easy picking for this guy. Boom. Come on, comrade Smurf. Kill him. Kill him like the capitalist pig he is. There we go. <sighs> All right, everyone, come back to life. Someone's got to have a nitro on them, right? Well, I can equip one real easy. Uh, where are you at? This is this is why I, I bought a whole bunch of these. There we go. Everyone's good as new. It's like we never fought a war. All right. Lock picking five required. We have lock picking five. You do specifically. I think this is. Hopefully, this just gives us a little XP. I don't know if these things actually give us XP or not. Yeah, 35. Perfect. That's exactly what we wanted. Take those. Let's go loot the corpse of the fallen. Boom, 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 boom. I want their bowling pin. That's what all this was about, right? A freaking bowling pin? Oh, there's another nitrogen tank there. This toy appears to be a lookout, observing the operations of the monster army. Alright, we're not going to fuck with Dr. Smiles right now. Not until we've had the chance to heal everyone up. Uh, we'll take all of our characters here, though. Uh, all of them. I want, I want all of them. And we'll bring them over here. Back to this guy. And we'll wait a couple seconds for a mole to run hey, all the way you. over here. Just got word there's another caravan from Seal Town coming in next week. That's the second one this month. You sure? Can. All right. What do you want, Mister? Ananda Robinronath. Before you stands a man dressed in an impeccably clean, well-maintained suit. He bows with a flourish as you approach, and without pause starts rattling off a practiced spiel. Salutations and assorted felicitations. Welcome to the bazaar, the marketplace of the unusual. I've not seen you here before. Know this, the bazaar can be found underneath our feet, buried by layers of snow. Access is restricted to the lucky few who possess an entrance pass. I don't think I possess one. You can purchase an entrance pass at the door from our esteemed hosts, the Monster Army. Or, if you lack the funds, simply find an established merchant to vouch for you. Okay, we can get a merchant to vouch for us. That's easy. Oh, a misunderstanding, I assure you. There have been some troubles in the bazaar of late. Our hair is going on some wild stuff today, but I kind of like it. Resolve. I just I just saw I that in the stream. You, inside the bazaar awaits a satisfying and secure shopping experience. Okay. Okay. Up the ramp, you'll find the door to the bazaar, covered by a vehicle. My name is Ananda Rabindranath, Mannerite missionary, merchant, and your humble servant. My Who humble servant. Assigned to answer any questions you may have. Felicitations. Okay. Can we speak more about getting into the bazaar? It is simple. To get inside, you need an entrance pass. You can purchase one at the door, or find an established bazaar merchant to vouch for you. Could you vouch for Any us? Any bazaar merchant. Of course, they are usually found inside the bazaar, not out here. In the encampment behind me, 
you could find some hopefuls looking to get in. Perhaps if you can aid them, they can aid you. Oh, we can help the hopefuls. Would that I could. But we are limited in how often we can vouch for outsiders. In theory, this yes. whole game is starting but to feel like just a giant anime. A tend to safeguard it with our lives, so it is highly unlikely you would get to use another person's pass. I have heard of people giving their entrance passes to family members. Perhaps you have a rich uncle. Occasionally, people disappear in the nearby ruins, and strangers acquire their pass. Nearby ruins? I'm sure Ooh. I don't need to say this behavior is most untrustworthy and impolite. I can only hope I will have the we answers. We found encampments of crazy clown bandits. Truly. Wonders never cease. I'm no local, so I don't know much about these crazy clowns. Perhaps they're a known pest? I'd recommend speaking to our dear leader, Jacob Martin, once you get inside. Jacob Martin will probably pay us for killing them. Ah, I thank you. It is a pleasure to meet people of taste, a true rarity in these uncivilized lands. I endeavor to provide the teachings of Mr. Manners to those inside the bazaar. Mr. Alas, Manners? they seem to prefer that I spread the good word out here instead. A folly, I think. But who am I to question our gracious host? You should always question authority, my friend Ananda. You do seem like people of refined taste, without a doubt. But a man of class does not abandon his employer at an inopportune moment. I don't wish to speak out of turn, oh. but this is a dangerous time. The bazaar, the bazaar is under siege. Friends, go inside. Speak to Mr. Jacob Martin. Or as others call him, Flab. When the bazaar is safe again, my conscience will be clear, and I will be most pleased to join you. All right, all right, we can do that. Do you have anything Naturally, to sale? I have a variety of goods for sale that could suit your needs. But let's not fall oh, this fine. way, friends. Into the encampment we go. So can I, I talk to the hostess? Oh, it's going to be this one, huh? This is going to be who I need to talk to. Uh, hi. Hey there. Hi. Yeah. <laughs> I'm Paris. Hi, Paris. I'm trying to get into the bazaar to sell my dyes. Well, let's get in. Same as you, I imagine. The getting into the bazaar part, not the dyes. Unless you do dyes, which is I totally do not. cool by me if you do. I do dyes, but hi. not dyes. What are you doing here? I'm trying to become a licensed merchant in the bazaar. The monster army says I gotta make a dye the exact color of blood, which is hard, because everyone's got an opinion, but no one can agree on the hue. It's true. My blood's kind of like a nice, hey, uh, a nice maroonish to know red. Anything about dyes, huh? It'd be just. But I've seen people with some light. Help. I could even pay Real you. blue blood. At least, my dye table is right over there. What does the monster Decoration, army want with blood dye? I suppose. Or, I, I don't know, really. I didn't think to ask, to be honest. Well, you're not doing your job very well, then, if you didn't ask. Them? They're hoping someone would sell them an entrance pass or help them get inside. The bazaar's got this code, you see? Unless you're a big shot. We know, flat, we know. Um, Tell us Lab, about Flab. Uh, the leader of the bazaar. He's a big guy, which is why everyone calls him Flab, you know? Because he's a big flabby it's man. kind of mean, but Flab doesn't seem to mind, so whatever, I guess. Yeah. Goodbye. So long. You're not very useful. Can we do anything here? Can we mix your dyes now? Oh, we need weird science. All right. Uh, okay. Um, you have weird science, right? It's not, I don't know if it's not that high, though. It might not be that high. Uh, but while we come in, too, let's hit up this guy again real quick. Felicitations. Uh, we don't have the kiss ass and to I do will this. Endeavor to supply more you said you're a minorite. Aren't most minorites settled out west? Ah, true cosmopolites, I see. Indeed. We're cosmopolites, and he's a Mannerite. Is one of the rare few fortunate enough to operate under the auspice of Mr. Manners, proponent of good behavior in these ugly times. Most of us reside in Angel Oracle, 
but I chose to travel. Could you imagine the cult you aligning yourself with in the, in the apocalypse being the manners we cult? Mannerites Jesus. We believe that poise is only second to godliness. To well, the is world to has ended, and all I care about is that you use the if knife curious, on the left side of your tip of your plate. A copy of our holiest scripture, the book of nauseatingly correct manners. <laughs> this sounds so good, actually. Uh, please, can we have a copy? May it help you as much as it did me, and find your path to a life of civility. I hope I can read this. Uh, all right. Uh, can you tell us anything else? Hmm, of course. Our immediate we might be taking a sidetrack to read the book of the nauseatingly correct manners. Wander outside these confines, and safety is not guaranteed. I can't tell you more, as I've never ventured out there myself. They are the organization in charge of the bazaar. I've heard tales that once they were truly a monstrous gang, mm -hmm. spreading fear all throughout Colorado. All I'm right. happy to tell all you right. that their current incarnation is much more sophisticated and civilized. Someone they have a ways to go. Yes, but an organization that a man of manners can get behind, They are it led seems. by Mr. Jacob Martin, colloquially known Flab as the Inhaler. the Inhaler. A man who has truly embraced his position and leads this place with panache. Panache is such a good table, word. Though. You can find him inside the bazaar proper, as he rarely ventures outside. We'll be back later. Have an exquisite All right. day. Let's look at this book. This book given to you by Ananda Rabinath. It serves the basis for the way of life of the Mannerites. It doesn't let me read it. I want to read it. Damn. All right. Well, come play with this table. You have weird shit. No, it's not high enough. Six. Weird science at six is what we need. Oh, we can get it to five. One, two, three, four, five. Damn it. We're so close. Rip, you weird, weird science man. All right. Uh, Do we have cool things we can put in weird science? Yeah. Let's start specking in our weird science shit. Still not high enough, though, right? Yeah. Start mixing chemicals for a new dye. What does this guy have to say for us? Ah, new hopeful souls oh, this gal. looking to enter the bazaar? Speak to the doorman outside and up the ramp. All right. Can you help us Me? get in? No. Like I said before, go up the ramp outside this encampment and speak to the doorman. He can tell you everything okay. you need to know. Okay. We'll talk to Ananda, talk to too. Ananda. This encampment is for hopefuls. Lambs looking to get into the bazaar, but not yet in possession of an entrance pass. The monster army keeps this place Like, safe. seriously, I've watched probably 30 animes where this whole plot is, like, played out the same. You must get the this? entrance pass in order you to enter. But in order here. to enter, this you have to have the entrance pass. The to get the army entrance matches. pass, you must fight Please in the arena to earn the entrance Colorado pass. For decades. You really haven't heard of us? I'm new to Colorado, okay? Safely, Sorry. There's something endearing about being called a little lamb, though. I kind of like it. Is this is this a new kink that I'm discovering? Don't call me daddy. Call me little lamb. Howdy, strangers. Name Six Fingered Larry. Hunter. Though the parrot beside him squawks obnoxiously. He studiously ignores the bird. Oh, that's an interesting looking parrot. It for sale? <laughs> you don't want him. Barrett's got a bit of an attitude problem. Tried to peck his way through a kid's skull. Oh, the other shit. Week. If you insist, though, you'll have to talk to Polly yourself because I got no say in what he's going to do. All right. Can we get Polly on our, on our team? We want to buy Polly. All right. Hey, Polly, you hear that, old buddy? These fine folks would like to adopt you. How's that sound? My buddy, my pal. Come closer. I'll show you how it sounds to me. Damn, this this bird is articulate as fuck. Oh shit! Damn it! <laughs> I I love having these headphones because I can really pick up on the sound. Like I've heard the like the 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 mouth noises of some of the voice actors. And that guy, you could hear he totally turned away from the microphone while he yelled, "Ah shit! Damn it!" it sounds to me, Larry. Fuck. 
sounds like some fucking I love this shit. bird. <gasps> Wasting your time with this asshole. Talk to Polly. Talk to Polly. God, I want to buy a fucking parakeet or a parrot and teach it how to say fucking bullshit. That's so good. How am I doing? How I'm am fucking I great. Fucking That's doing? so good. <laughs> great question, dipshit. I'm doing great. How are you doing? You look like a moose. The moose fucked, fucked your, your face, face inside, inside out. <laughs> I love this bird. Someone has to stick around to make Larry's life miserable. That's my job. I love that job. You hear that, Larry? Fuck you. <laughs> Fuck you, Larry. Wouldn't you be happy you're traveling around Colorado making everyone miserable? You wouldn't want people to think you're Larry's property, would you? The world would be better off without you, Polly. Fuck that, no. Uh, I... <laughs> oh, shit, you're right. You're shit yes! Shit. Yes! I mean, you look like someone grafted a squid to a disease vulva. <laughs> to a disease vulva! But when you're right, you are right. This and is the I best bird ever. Leaving. All right. He's yours if you pay the price. $200 and this we get this bird. Good. Don't you think? Oh, if I had Animal Whisperer, I bet I could convince the bird to come without paying. Hell no! <laughs> hey, Jizz for Blaine's Larry, give them a discount or I'll fill your pie hole with <laughs> carrots while, while you sleep. You sleep. <laughs> <laughs> give me a second. Give me a second. I'm trying here. <laughs> All right. All right. That price was a little high. Yeah, it was. Uh, Give us this, this bird. Uh, I, I wish we had Animal Whisperer, but fuck it. Here's your money. Uh, something's not right with you, but you have my respect. Enjoy the parrot, and let me know if you need anything I'm else. so glad we were able to buy him. Yes, we have Polly hey, now. Polly. How have you been? A lot better for being free from your stink, you shit-stained comrade. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> Why would you have a shit-stained comrade? Were you coming on it first or shitting on it first? Who knows? And why would you use the same rag for both of those purposes? Same as anyone else. Maybe it's got something to do with the fact I'm good with my hands. <laughs> I'm not the sword who'd kiss and tell, though. We we're hoping we could ask you some I'm questions no local, about the bazaar. Ask me anything you want. I'll see if I can be useful. Oh, I bet you can, my guy. We want to get into the bazaar. Could you vouch for us? Nah, I don't got the bona fides. You're not bona fide? Well, damn. That'd be Flab the Inhaler. Well, we already know that. All right. He leads what's left of the monster army after the Patriarch. Anything we should know about this place. The bazaar? It used to be something else. Now, it's okay. just old and fat, wheezing through it. What's on your mind? What else do you got? All right, nothing else. Okay. Be seeing you. Larry, you're useless. But we got Polly out of you. And Polly's not useless. Come on, you amazing bird. I hope you provide commentary throughout the rest of this game. If not, I'm going to be severely disappointed. Welcome to the bazaar, little lambs. Behave yourselves. Uh, where's the guy we have to talk to up here? Okay. This is a lot smaller than I thought it was going to be. We have a lieutenant up here we can chat with, maybe. There's Trying lots to keep of... a look out nope. here, okay. lambs. Sorry. We'll talk to Sorry. The guard. Sorry, I didn't mean to bother you. All right. Listen up, Mashers. Bazaar's the under attack. Bitch who says we're losing this war gets strung up by his nuts. You hear me? It doesn't matter how much territory to to we've it. lost. There's only one way Tinder. inside the wall. As long as we control it. You look, you look important. You're standing in front of a desk. He can sit out there with his army and pound snow for all I care. All we gotta do is hold nope. out. So the gonna lamb be you? and the wolf got different needs. Sooner or later. Who do we have to talk to up here? To you? And then 
we'll have him right where we fucking want him. Got to be yes. one of these guys, Use right? The intercom to talk to the door guard. Oh, the Otherwise, intercom. Move along. Where's the intercom? Intercom. Welcome. Aha, right here. I found it. As you approach the trailer, the speaker bolted onto it crackles to life. Good question. Bones? <laughs> the lamb speak. You know what? You asked me a straight question. Let's forget about the lamb nonsense. Mm. The bizarre lies beneath Thanks, buddy. Covered by decades of snow. The only way in is through the gate beneath this RV. The only people who can open this gate, we, the monster army. Well, yeah, we know that. If you want to get in here, need to do one of two things buy an entrance pass what's it cost an established bizarre merchant to vouch for you sometimes we let colorado's most famous in but it's been years since such an exception was made all right do you want to know who we are we're the rangers <laughs> that's nice doesn't mean shit to me yeah i figured fame's you. unknown we ran into bandits dressed as clowns holy crap for real that's some fucked up shit don't worry. The monster <laughs> Jesus Christ. All you need, All you need is, is an entrance pass. pass. Uh, what if we don't get a pass? Then you don't come in. This door is controlled from the inside. Yeah, that so seems logical. There until you get your pass. More than it should, honestly. But that's what happens when one party has a monopoly on <laughs> Sorry. I'm glad you recognize the problems with this economy, though, my guy. You are a good doorman, and while you can't control the system, you can at least acknowledge it. Uh, well, we don't want to buy that. We can get that for free. $500 is a racket. We can buy, like, six polys for that. Jesus. The, the best item in the game only costs $150. You think I'm going to pay $500 for some bullshit fucking entrance pass? All right. Let's see what happens if we mix shit. Um, okay. We have C-37, C-16, C-20, and C-18. Let's see if these actually exist. Or if this is some made-up bullshit for the game. Uh, C-20. It does not appear C-20 chemical... C20. What is C20? Uh, dicarbon monoxide. C2O. Okay. I don't think that's right. That's that's C20, not C2O. No. Okay. These, this is made up bullshit. C16. Hydrogen 14. And iodine 4. And sodium 2. And oxygen 5. And sulfur two. Turn on the mixer. The chemicals begin reacting, but the reaction quickly fizzles. You were unable to produce it's hard, dye. huh? I hear there used to be books that would tell you the exact mix you needed, but I'm pretty sure they're not around Aww. at the bazaar. Dun 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 dun. Okay, well, I need to get weird science up. That's not gonna happen until I level up once more. That's unfortunate. Felicitations. I don't think you have anything else for me. But of course. Anything good for sale? I don't know if we checked this already. A comb. Keep it neat and tidy. Uh, no. Ooh, I can buy a monocle. Barter and perception increase. Do you have anything that increases weird science? Does not appear to be the case. All right. Well, okay. I think we're at a standstill here. So let's roll out. We did get Polly, which is hella dope. Got a need for speed? The turbocharger upgrade will make your Kodiak drive faster on the world map, baby! Now we wait for another load screen.
What up, Long? Thank you for the host, my dude. I love it. Yeet, indeed, Nova. How you doing tonight? We are, we, we just got the best bird, honestly. Uh, you, you missed out, but hopefully it provides some wonderful commentary. Yo, Giga, how you doing tonight? How is everybody? We're still trying to find the Broadmoor. You murdered each other a couple more times? Hell yeah. Now, did you did you turn it into straight uh like straight Smash Bros murdering each other? Or or were you still trying to complete the objectives? You didn't go too ham on killing each other. Uh, let's see here. We should probably head back and do a quick revive. You were punching everything you saw. Yeah, I mean, fair enough. That's what I'd be doing too, let's be real. You know, you can't you can't trust an Olimer, let's be honest. Like the guy's kind of a kind of a seedy character. He doesn't even hesitate chucking these Pikmin around. If it breathed, it was punched. It's just a good rule of life, honestly. I I try to make it my rule of life that things that are breathing should always be hit. It has not gotten me very far. I would not recommend it. But it is it is something to stand by. Everyone needs some sort of moral code. Do you believe in love at first sight? I I don't know. Of course you do. That's a tricky one. Your soul the first time our eyes met. Hey, thanks for the follow too, Gig. I appreciate it so much. I was. I'm a I I don't know if I have <laughs> no, the see the secret is I just don't interact with anyone or anything. And thank you for the follow, Nova. The the it may uh, open it without disarming. Let's let's take some damage. Uh, if if you're a recluse, then it works great because there's nothing you can hit. It, it not only makes sure that I don't interact with anyone, it also ensures that. If I did interact with anyone, it would prevent me from interacting with them again in the future. Uh, call in HQ for a tow. What? No, I don't need to do that. I'm here. Drop into the HQ and heal up. And then we're gonna go see the clowns, I guess. Since I still haven't found Broadmoor. I, I, I don't know what I'm missing here for that. We're just trying to level up at this point for our weird science. See, Giga gets it, though. Giga knows it's the way to live. I mean, do you have do you have a better code of morals that I should ab be abiding by? No low blows? Make one five-year-old cry and then leave you alone for good. <laughs> See, I I feel like that I feel like that's a good code to live by. I mean, you make one. See, the secret is you get them off your side to begin with, and then you don't have to deal with them for the rest of your life, right? Because eventually, everyone older than you is gonna die. Everyone at your same age already probably doesn't like you because you're making five-year-olds cry. And then the five-year-olds are gonna grow up and not want to interact with you in society either. So, the purpose is to just become a hermit, right? Like that's what everyone's desire in life is. You interact with people until you you remove yourself from all possible. Don't pull a Mike Tyson, Jesus Christ. <laughs> sure the marshals are going to make the Reed kid have an accident in his cell. Since he helped the Dorseys oh, get no. into the city. That's oh, yeah, they're right absolutely going to. Yeah, what he deserves need, it. Rangers? Uh, patch us up, I'll please. We're can. pretty have messed up. A falcon punch to a five-year-old's cranium? Whoa! Bite their ears off. Okay, see, now I'm, I'm not one to endorse child violence. I thought we were just talking about, like, telling them Santa doesn't exist or some shit. Not, like, biting their ears off and hitting them. I, I thought that was why we were going for the five-year-old crowd, because it's a lot easier. It's cool, you're five. <laughs> you're, you're allowed to talk about it. It's, it's not a hate crime if it's in your own group of people. 
Radioactive fallout has spewed, spawned horrific mutations in both people and animals. Neat. Mentally, at least, you know... I feel like the mental of acuity of five-year-olds is a lot higher than the mental acuity of some, like, 20- and 30-year-olds I've met. So, I don't know if that's an insult to yourself. At least that means your brain still has the capacity to grow, change, and learn. You haven't, like, become stagnant and okay with that. Remove their spines and shove it up their bum so it comes back out their mouth? What? You were calling us monsters! That's some next level shit, Nova! You're talking about turning kids into like super kids by literally destroying everything about them. Yeah, sweaty penguins indeed, Jesus! What do you, what do you even, how do you? There's nothing to do to that or say to that. You know, I pieces of the puzzle are starting to uh to fall in line here. But in her defense, like if they're not going to listen to you and fire does the trick, it's kind of a win-win, right? The aforementioned sociopath. You know, at least it's Sims and not dogs, right? Los pesos. Oh, we have we have we have already seen this tip today. You hope it only remains that way. I mean, that's totally fair. I... I I, I believe in you, Nova. I don't think you're going to be lighting dogs on fire anytime soon. I think you'll stick to Sims, right? I'd go to bat for that. Okay, uh, alright. So we have... No, we don't want to travel to Colorado. Uh, no, we don't want to travel to Colorado. We want to bring our folks in here. Bring you up. Oh, yeah, my oh no. The fuck you doing here? She'll be teaching the dogs to light people on fire. See, that's totally different, though. Uh, looking for smart-ass clowns to kill you. Volunteering? <laughs> Very funny. But the joke's on you, cabron. Pay us off, again! This is not the best way to begin an engagement. Uh, yeah, it is. Oh, wait, we have no ammo. Jesus. Oh, we're out of ammo entirely for that gu Oh, no. Actually, we might be in a bit of a pickle. Blast them. Yes! Oh, we've got two health left. Rocket? Let's try it. Yes! Okay, beautiful. In a pickle? We are in a pickle, but we've got this, I think. I think we can pull this off. Uh, what does this do? Usable. Charge your weapon, empowering it to deal bonus energy, cold, or fire damage on its nest. Oh, we should have done that to start. Empower! With your weird science! Your brother smells like pickles all the time? Is that a bad... Is that a bad thing? Enlighten me. Are pickles a bad scent? Because I, I'd fuck with some pickles. I don't mind the scent of pickles. Take it, it is a bad scent? Oh, okay. I guess, am, am I alone here in thinking that pickles... Uh, like, it's that sweet, sultry vinegar smell. You know? With that little, with that little hint of cucumber. That's like that's like saying that's like saying uh uh I mean I guess vinegar and cucumber smells bad is what I'm trying to get at but that that doesn't like rephrase this in any way that makes me seem better Not the good pickle smell okay Gotcha 
that has clarified this up for me. I, I was I was missing the key ingredient that there was also the human BO synth mixed in there. Alright, um I think we're just gonna put everyone on Overwatch, right? We could bring the car up a bit. Uh or we could just blast another Okay, everyone's out of range. Dang. Yeah, we'll bring the car up. So is it, it so the real trouble is that they smell like BO, not not that they smell like pickle, right? Are we on the same page there? Is that a fair assessment of your scent? And then bring you into uh We'll bring you straight up, baby. Yeah, pickles mixed with B.O. is that that's a rough smell. Oh, we have all our all our AP back. I don't know if this is gonna do any good. But let's try it. Smile for the birdie, Mamon! Oof! Okay. Well that we're not off to a great start. The stench is still stuck in our guest room. Oh no! What is happening here? Oh, Polly, go fuck him up! Yes! Awaiting orders. I love Polly so much. Uh, let's see. We can't hit anyone with anything. It seems. Jeez. Gotta pour. You can swing around and beat this guy up. Yeah, let's do that. Wait, your dog? Wait, your dog smells like butt Furritos? Like, Furritos of the bum? Or Furritos mixed with bum? Or, oh, burnt! <laughs> that makes a lot more sense. I, I was trying to figure out how on earth you even knew those two scents put together. Oh no, we're accidentally doing murders on our own folks now. This is not great. Mmm, but burritos. That's just that that's just like chili cheese and burritos, right? That's butt burritos. That's the closest I can imagine. Uh let's do a quick shot here. Nope. Okay. Let's overwatch. Fine. Uh, car, murder. Order. Damn, so close. Probably, yeah, that's that's my assumption too. Now, anal is a whole different beast, all right? Uh, all right, let's reload and then blast. Can we hit this guy with it? Yeah, hit him with this. Yes, he's freezing. We can't reload now, but we can weird science. Can we? No, we can't, okay. We'll shelter. I, you know, with the way Lay's is going, it wouldn't surprise me if, if they dropped Anal Lay's the flavor soon. They seem to have a flavor for everything these days. Uh, let's throw a grenade. Is that out of range? Is that why I can't throw that? Or is that... Why, why can't I... Can I throw that there? Let's see if we can hit this like that. No, that's out of range. Okay, so I have to go here. Boom, baby. Sphincter Funyuns. Mmm. Now, anal lays definitely sound better than Sphincter fun Funyuns, honestly. Because aren't Sphincter Funyuns basically just Funyuns? It'd be like, it'd be like dipping Funyuns in, uh, in salsa is my imagination here that I'm going to. Oh, no, I could have moved God of War. Flesh, flesh donut donuts. The flesh donut you're referring to is the is the donut of the bum, right? So we're talking about bum, bum flavored donuts. Okay, we're in a bad spot. I don't know if we're pulling. I mean, our car can probably kill the rest of them by itself, but come on, Polly. No! 
I don't care what happens. We're bringing Polly back to life. No, he's dead. He's dead, dead. No, no, no. Um, yummy. Hey, we we do not shame here. If you if you love to partake of the flesh donut, go for it. There there are many people out there who enjoy a good flesh donut snack. And yes, F's indeed. Thank you. I am this is tragic. Now we know we have to keep Polly alive for the rest of the game. All oh, this just made things way harder. We're going to be loading a lot more now. I say as if I'm going to be playing this game after tomorrow. Oh, did we get another crash finally? Nope. Okay. <laughs> it's, it's derailed into dead birds and flesh donuts, my guy. Rest in spaghetti, never forgetty. Lie in lasagna. Uh, we'll mourn you tomorrow. You did indeed. You did distract me. I mean, now I now I am running through the list of butt flavored chips and deciding which one would taste the best. Which would probably just be like plain Ruffles, right? I mean, Ruffles has made some real ass flavored chips already. Didn't they? Didn't they just release a uh, a Burger King Whopper chip? I believe. Yeah, 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 yeah. Here here we go. If see if Ruffles can already commit these kinds of sins, a ass chip isn't far off, honestly. Oh no, we need ammo. That's what we need. All right, we're going to come out here. Now that I just made you guys sit through that 5-minute loading screen, let's watch it again cuz we forgot sniper ammo. Food is a good alternative to medical supplies when you're looking to heal outside of combat. Bunghole ruffles. Um I think it I, I think it'd be more maybe it'd be like a uh ruffles ruffles rimmed? Rimmed ruffles maybe? Badger King, yo, what's up, my guy? How you doing tonight? You've you've come in at a really weird part of the stream. Just a heads up. Uh, we have we have been discussing the the best flavor of anal chips. Just so you know. Hidden structure. Ooh, I can't get through there. All right. Well, we need more lock picking. Okay, we'll get in there eventually. Until then, we're gonna buy some ammo, which I think we have some over here in this area. Anal chips. Yes, indeed. Uh, we, we oh, no, we don't want to call an HQ for a toe. How do I keep opening that? Yes, um, Polly just died on us. Apparently, we've gotten the greatest. Okay, hell yeah. Rangers. Thank you. We'll spread the word Perfect. The camps. Let's trade. Uh, we got the best much. parrot in the game, uh, Polly who has taken to cussing us out on several occasions. So, so he is the best bird. Oh no, we don't have enough money for sniper ammo, jeez. 
Uh, but unfortunately, they did die in the last uh, fight, so we had to reload almost immediately because we weren't fucking with that. Mechanics? That's a weird... These are weird weapons. Survival, first aid. All right, well, we have some now. How many more can we buy? All right. We have sniper ammo. Now we can go back and take this fight. Without Polly dying. Yeah, if, if you're curious how delightful Polly is, I highly recommend going back and looking at the VOD because it is a fantastic character. I'm going to create a highlight just of Polly talking. So, so stay tuned tomorrow if you want to see what Polly is like. And we're going to get revenge now. We're not letting these clowns get away with this. A life for a life and a bird for a city. <laughs> I'm loving this squid emote. That's so good. I, I cannot wait to get to affiliate so we can do our own emotes. It's going to be so much fun. All right, let's bring you in. Oh yeah, I'm honest. The fuck you doing here? Killing some smart ass clowns. Very funny. We've been over this already. Enemies I just bought what? Ammo type 0.3 to 06. 0.3 to Does it not use 50 cal? What? Okay. Only 12 to go? For real? I have not even been keeping that much track. Hell yeah! I am so excited. Once we get there, I we we're gonna we're gonna set up some weird shit too. It's gonna be fun. I'm really excited. I've got some plans, and I think people are gonna love it. We'll have a we'll have a whole a whole party for it. Uh, sniper rifles. Let's do it. We could use some sniper points, and then we can also use some ugh, whatever. You're fine. Do you have any things right now? Nope. You, however, do. Let's get some more explosives there. I'm going to I'm gonna be setting up some vods and stuff tomorrow, and hopefully, uh. Hopefully we can we can do some advertising and see if we can't get get a couple more followers to straggle in The goal Yeah, I've met all the other requirements. I, I just have the followers left These last few streams have been immensely great for meeting the other requirements You guys have all been a huge help and I I appreciate it so so much I would not, I would not be where I'm at today if it weren't for all of you guys right now in the chat. I love you all. You're amazing. Uh, let's blast this guy. All right, we got a murder already. That's a good start. Since apparently we still don't have sniper ammo. Bring you over here, Freya. And then save some AP. We got a pour. Can move into here. See, he just recharged. Okay, no, he didn't this time. That's so weird. I haven't figured out what's causing that. Sometimes he's recharging his AP and sometimes he's not. Let's bring you over here. And save some AP for next round. And you can come... Eh, there's not a great spot. Let's go here. And we'll also save your... A oh, you don't even have any more AP. Alright. Uh, Car move here again, maybe? Or maybe this side. Uh, is this gonna... Yeah, we'll go here. I don't think that's gonna interrupt him in any manner. And then Cold Greg can move in as well. 
None of these guys seem to have AoE attacks or anything. Not enough AP for either of those. Let's do some weird shit on this gun. And save some AP for tomorrow. Comrade Smurf is useless! You can, at the very least, mark Take a target. Uh, switch to your fisty cuffs and move in, because you're going to do some punching, baby! Uh, fuck it. Let's just go punch right now. And then defend. You gonna cry now, oh god, they're all going to come for Comrade Smurf. Oh no, Comrade Smurf! Don't die on me, friend. Okay. We're not doing bad yet. Oh, look at all these ballerinas back here. It's creepy as fuck. I haven't even looked at the rest of the zone. That's fucking wild. Okay. Car. Car does good murders. We murder you. Yas. That's not quite a murder. Uh, can we hit you from here? Yes. Neither of those are murders, though. We can probably kill him if we hit him first with this. And then use someone else. So if I promise not to mention anything about Pickles, dude, we can let him know about our channel. Okay. I... <laughs> Hell yeah, I love that. So no no mention about anything Pickles Dude and, and, and we're Gucci. All right, let's do it. I I can I can probably commit to that. And and I, I say that knowing the very first thing out of my, my mouth is gonna be pickles related. But I will I will solemnly swear to do my best. Is he dead? No. Another one will get him, though. Now he's dead. Uh, alright. Um, I can hit. You're out of range. Damn, everyone's out of... Wait. Did you die? Pickles related is okay, just don't sell you out. Gotcha! So don't, don't make mention that he smells of pickles. Just, but it's okay to mention pickles. Gotcha. I can do that. That's easy, yeah. I... I would never mock a person for their smell. That is, that's your guys' cruelness. That's not me. Uh, all right. Can I? Nope, not enough AP to do anything with this. Uh, all right, swing you around. Um, I think I want to bring him over here and start beating up this guy up here. Freya. Can light this guy up. Hell yeah! Thank you so much. I really appreciate it. I'm super stoked, everyone. Pickles. That one thing that scares cats is drowned in vinegar. Uh, I just killed old Greg. Oops. He's great online, but not to live with. <laughs> I I get that. I I know some people that are like. They're, they're, they're great people, but, like, living with them is a little, a little much. So that is, that is totally fair, honestly. Nope, we missed again. Dang it. Wait, where's Polly? Did Polly die again? Was, did I miss Polly dying? No, okay, he's way back here. Good. Oh. Whew. My heart. Be still. We're good. We're good. Polly is safe. Polly is back here avoiding the conflict this time. Like a good bird. Oh, Jesus. We're going to have to rely entirely on our car killing everything. Blast him. All right. We've got two more guys. I think we've got this. Gotta pour. Come start beating this guy up. I really need more action points on him, too. Uh, yeah, we'll bring you up here. 
And then you can bust a cap in this fool. Okay, minus 50%, gain three. Uh, yeah, let's go for it. We're right next to this guy. It should hit. Nope. Okay. Uh, you're 5% chance. That's rough. Um, let's bring some guys back to life, I suppose, right? Well, keep fighting! How many do I think I can get in one pass with this character? Not a lot. Uh, alright. UJ chill here. I, I'm a variety streamer, so I, I play just about every game. Uh, me and my buddy David, uh, Backstab, he does, he does some streaming too. Uh, and we do a podcast called The Bundle Bourgeoisie, in which every month we talk about the games from the Humble Choice Bundle. So the first two weeks of the month, I'm usually streaming games from, from that bundle. Uh, so it's like, like this month, the big ones were Vampire and Call of Cthulhu. Uh, but yeah, so so that's what that's what I stream a lot of. Uh, but I also really love uh, competitive games like Hyperscape and Rogue Company. Those are two of my favorite right now. Uh, so I do stream those as well sometimes. Uh, I'm looking at getting into Final Fantasy Online, so I might be playing a bit of that. Uh, but yeah, pretty much pretty much whatever we're feeling. And I I take requests as well. Mario 3D All-Stars? No, I don't know about that. Is that... 3D All-Stars is the, uh... The, like, old-school, uh... Like, uh... Baseball Mario, right? Oh, how'd you miss? You're right there. Alright, well, everyone's gonna apparently try to shoot this guy one last time. And then... We'll come... There, I guess. I think we're gonna pull this off. It's gonna be a real tight one, though. Awaiting orders. Oh, it's the Mario 64 one. Yes, 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 yes. I have heard of that. Why are they calling it Mario 3D All Stars? I mean, I get it because it's the 3D All Stars of the Mario series, but like, didn't they do a Mario All Stars that was a baseball game? What was the... <sighs> Super Sluggers. Okay. Superstar. Oh, it's all the same. I was thinking of Superstar. There it is. That, that was my confusion. Uh, I can't get down there to him, can I? I mean, I can get down here to him, but I am—I am very stoked for the Mario uh, All Stars. I, Mario Sunshine was one of my favorite games of like all time, so I cannot wait to play that again. I will absolutely be playing the shit out of that and streaming that when it comes out. Uh, yeah, let's keep going for it. Why not? Who cares if the God of Poor dies? <laughs> He is, he is but a vessel for the darkness that will consume him. Nope. Dang it. All right. Which, which one of the three are you most excited for? I know most people are super excited for 64, just because we haven't ever had a remake of 64. But the right answer is Sunshine, and if you say anything other than Sunshine, I will be severely disappointed. Alright, everyone come back to life. We've done it. We've avenged Polly's death. Now let's look around and see if there's any goodies. We'll, we'll finish up in this zone and then probably call it a night here. Ugh. Why is there a frozen corpse? 
there's a thing here. There's a lot going on in this zone. I bet I can move these ballerinas around and do some weird shit. This automatic ballerina is currently turned off. Flip on the power. Step away. Okay. What happens if I turn on the power of all the ballerinas? A cat just yeeted Lung's cord. I like... I like that you said a cat and not like our cat or the cat. Uh, because that makes it sound like a cat just randomly came into your house and yeeted the cord and then just like walked off. Which I really, really hope is the case. All right, uh, what can't, what? Okay, this ballerina has nothing. This ballerina has nothing. This ballerina. Flip the power on. Okay. What are we trying to do here, ballerinas? Panel is frozen? <laughs> uh, this animatronic. Uh, as far as I know, the cat just yeeted your cord. Um, we are playing with ballerinas, but I, I don't know why that would be killing them. Scribbled below in crayon. Uh, one clown stands alone. Requires power. Okay, so we have to get power on this. Some junk. Nothing good there. There's an intercom here. Lock picking level 8. Jesus. What do you want? Oh no, the cat's back. Oh no. Uh, open up. I want to see the museum. You mean a ticket from the clown out front? He's dead. Help us out here. Okay, now it's been specified, so it is your cat. Gotcha. Okay, so we have to find the parts for the ballerinas and fix them. Gotcha. Uh, what? There's a pig. Oh, God. Is it going to let us fuck the pig, too? He's back for round two. Cat versus... My money's on the cord this time. There's no way that cord's gonna make the same mistake twice, right? Alright, pig. Please don't let us do anything. Okay, good. Uh, this ballerina. Can I stick the gyro in you? Repair the ballerina. Boom. Uh, flip the power on. Okay. So now let's bring you with your flamethrower over to this and melt this. Whoa! Hold up. Stop it. Don't. What are you doing, you monster? I said to use it on that. Just randomly light your teammates on fire. Oh, we're going to use all of our flamethrower ammo to burn this, aren't we? Big Dumb indeed. She is useless. And this is not doing what I want it to. Do we have Molotovs? I think we have Molotovs. Molotovs. Let's try this. This might be more effective. Yeah. No. Still not great. I feel like I'm probably missing something environmental that'll do this for me. There's a weathered poster here. Is there something? Hmm. Molotovs are the answer to everything, but apparently not the answer to this. Because that is a very slow tick. But hey, I guess it, oh, I guess it works, right? It's not efficient, but 
I think it'll get us there. It'll just race, waste all 11 followers to go? Yes! Who just followed? I didn't get a prompt. Or did it just refresh updating what I had before? I'm so stoked, guys! If we can hit affiliate before, like, the end of this month, that would be super cool! I will- I will get custom emojis made for this. Like, like, dead ass as soon as it happens. I will go fucking... Oh, there's, uh, Stoll's Burden. I will go pay for it to happen immediately. My follower girl is short eight Show followers. Me. Okay. Got people to kill. I, I will keep that in mind. I have to I have to update it on Streamlabs, so I'll have to go through and, and hey, fix that. Um, what is going on here? There's according to this some sort of power there, but drug stash there. It ain't. Oh, no, someone go revive her. <laughs> And then you go do this ballerina? Can I do this ballerina? The maintenance panel is frozen open. Should I... Oh, here we go. I think we just found it. I was walking around with the wrong character. This guy's got better... Oh, no, that's just a gold nugget. Uh, well, let's walk around with him for a second and see if we missed anything. Lock picking eight. What? There's nothing there. Can someone else come dig this? Hmm. Interesting. No. Well, you, you fool. Get over here, fool. This says power's turned off, right? This is the power over here. I feel like the desire here is that they want you to roll a bowling ball into these to turn the power on. But that, there's nothing there to do that. I can't take aim on anything there. Hmm. Perhaps, oh, oh, perhaps, 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 yeah, wait, it did something, it did damage to it. No, what? So it hurts them, but it doesn't knock them over? What do I need? Flamethrower fuel? Maybe maybe you can burn these with your flamethrower? There's clearly some sort of indication that these are like objects. And the bowling ball's an object too. Huh. I don't know what we're missing here. I can't solve this puzzle. That wasn't the key to that. I'm missing something for these ballerinas. Someone wants you to show them the Yes, show them it, please. I I you're you're very much tempted. I wish there was some sort of story. That's the only thing holding me back. <laughs> There's a delightful taste of Polly. Meat condom. That's such a good. Come back when you're not a oh, fuck. Now it just sounds like my parents. That's too real, Polly. All right. Well... There's a ballerina here. We're just missing this one. That's a very valid point that I've never actually really thought about for those kinds of games. Huh. Well, 
Like, like treating the level design and the gameplay and the mechanics more as the story rather than like a physical story. Um, oh, maybe there's like a thing I can stand on. I, I know there's been one of those before. Yep, there it is. Oh, I'm so dumb. I've solved the puzzle. There it is. That was so straightforward. And I bet we're going to have a ballerina thing in here now. Ooh, a little baby flamethrower. Yep, there's the ballerina, Yairo. Now we can shove this in here. A cat is eating your hand? Like, flesh and blood and bones and muscle and everything? Or just, like, slightly nibbling on it? Because if it's flesh and bone and blood and muscles and everything, uh, rip, I'm so sorry. I wish I could do something, but I am not a doctor. And I don't think doctors are licensed to help people over Twitch. Uh, I, I hope you did enjoy your hand, and I hope it is your non-dominant hand. Otherwise, I think you're just screwed. You could go to war with the cat, but that's a war you'll never win. I'm pretty sure the Egyptians tried that, and they failed. Uh, we fixed the ballerinas. They're fixed, buddy. Aww. That's so cute. This I motherfucking guy wants to be a ballerina. I love it. Chase your dreams, my dude. The mall actually shows decay along with skaters being their current selves rather than the 90s selves. This hints at the fact that the game isn't exact. That's super cool. Holy shit. I, I, I just assumed the game was just like a remastered remake, but that kind of attention to detail and that sort of fan serviceness is awesome. That's so cool that they took it to that extent and in that direction. Okay, that requires power. Oh, so if I had lockpicking, I could just sneak around. Gotcha. Caprones, you dare set foot in El Big Top? Oh no. To the great joke, the blood of El Payaso Rojo stains this sacred ground. So it's only one hand that it's getting a hold of. That's good at least. Uh, since when do assholes talk? Shouldn't you be climbing an invisible rope or something? Oh, that's that's mimes, dumbass. Don't be fucking prejudice. Oh, see, sí, cabrones. El Payaso Rojo taught it to his disciples in this very place. It goes like this. The world is dead. Mock the weak and the stupid. Fuck off their shit for laughs. Or get fucked up yourself. Hard ass. Attack. The only joke here is your pathetic little shits. Do we go for it? I don't think we're ready to take this fight. But we'll try. We'll see what happens. We'll go for the fight and then we'll call it a night. You. You think you can. Payasos. Kill the oh, they have a car too. Fuck. They have us at a disadvantage. And our car don't fit in here. Oh gosh, yeah, this fight's not happening. Half our people aren't even in here. Fall back. The goal is going to be to fall back far enough that we can then use our car in the fight. I don't know if this will work. Oh no, the ballerina's hitting me! You little dick! The mall and some other places have clearly been abandoned, but others like the hangar have become much sleeker looking. That's super cool. I love that they took it in that direction. So some places got a facelift as a result, but other places not so much. You're out of range. Uh, we're just going to have everyone overwatch over here. Oh, shit. You're over here. Uh, switch to that guy. And then blast the hell. Oh, you're out of range. Dang it. That That's really cool. And it shows, like, this idea of significance of, of the world and what's important to the people at this point in time. 
Like, the, the mall has obviously fallen off, but... Uh, in my turn? Yeah. But these other areas have picked up in use. That's so good. I love that concept, and I don't think enough people are playing with that. With the, like... Like, uh... The Last of Us did a really good job with that, and that idea of nature retaking things, I think it's such a beautiful theme. And it, it provides for incredible looking environments. Uh, Alright. Keep falling back? Is this doing anything right now? Yeah, okay, cool. They're coming out now. Perfect. It's causing some weird game uh, game issues, it seems, but it's a tactic, right? Uh, bring you back here. Final Fantasy VII Remake is another sequel disguised as a remake. Yeah! I The Final Fantasy VII Remake is... I, I haven't gotten the chance to play it, but everything they're doing is exactly that in that one. Even with the idea of evolving the mechanics in the gameplay. Uh, bring you over here, and apparently you're not engaged in combat. Uh, okay, apparently you can just do whatever the hell you want. Cool. Comrade Smurf still does not have ammo? Oh, yes, he does. Yes, beautiful. Mark, you. Oh, did I lie? I don't think he does. Yeah, I don't have ammo. Damn it. Punchies it is for you. 14% uh, chance to hit. Let's come up here. Do some weird science on my gun. And then blast these two suckers. Got him. Uh, we'll overwatch you. We'll bring you right here. And we'll overwatch you as well. Uh, I guess we're just gonna go punch some people. Comrade Smurf isn't doing us much good right now. Ugh, it's not great. But at least these guys are all fighting each other. Weird Science is such a cool ability. These guns are really odd. They don't do what you'd expect. Alright. Uh, yeah, let's blast you, I think. Preview. That seems good to me. Swap back and reload. No, we'll just... Charmin is gonna follow? Yes! You guys are the best. Holy shit. This is so cool. I'm, I'm so excited that everyone else is excited, too. Uh, we're gonna overwatch again. Let's go punch some people with Comrade Smurf! This does literally no damage. I don't know why we're even doing this, honestly. But the combo's cool. It seems to in slowly increase the damage that we're doing every time we hit him. As we light him up. Jeez. Alright. Uh, and you can overwatch as well. Oh, they're going all the way back. God damn. No fucks given here. Uh, we still can't do anything with our car, which is odd. But hey, I won't complain. Come over here. We're trying to get set up for when they start coming back again. You go there. I feel like eventually I'm going to have to send someone in to send them back, to get them to come back out. So Freya, I think, can do this. Or Comrade Smurf. He's got so much AP. He's the one to do this on. Stack some combos. Uh, we'll bring Freya to here, I think. Save some AP. Defend. Defend. 
Ah, uh, let's just end our turn. We don't care. It's gonna take everyone a hot minute to come back. Oh, they're fighting each other now, baby. Oh, I was in a bad spot for that. Let's consolidate our efforts. Freya, light this guy up. Comrade Smurf, punch him. Beat him up with your fists. So times five apparently is the highest combo you can get. That's good to know. Marshall? Oh, you're not going to get a lot on him. What about this guy back here? Out of range. But if I come here, we got 89% chance. That's not bad. I'm going to take that. Fend. I need to get another gun for this sweet old fool, Cold Craig. Because right now, all I have is this rocket launcher and this other gun, which is kind of wild. Neither of them are great for just, like, one-on-one -on -one fights. Not enough AP, not enough AP. Save some AP. We're close. This guy's gonna play for us again. Jesus. Oh, I think we just lost. Yeah, here we go. There it is. All right. That's a loss. That's a good old L for us. But that's a good place to call it. Let's see if David's still streaming. Yeah, he is. And it looks like he's still going hard. We're going to we're going to shoot a raid on over to Backstab. My 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 fellow friend and and comrade in arms. He's our he's our other half of the bundle bourgeoisie. So say hi to him and, and check his work out and give him a follow. Uh, I love you all so much, guys. Seriously, you all are incredible, and I'm so happy that I get to do this with all of you. Uh, but yeah, have a good night. Sleep well, everyone. Stream some more. I really want to see you stream more of this Dark Souls stuff that you've been telling me about. <laughs>